Like, as soon as he saw me, he was like, let's go over here to the bar and get a beer. I'm like, nah, I ain't want no beer. <laughs> But in the middle six of your minutes run. later, I see him, I see in the him middle jogging. Of workout. Six, yeah, six minutes yeah. later, he jogging. I'm like, Nick, you want a beer? You want a jog? Which one is it? You know what I'm saying? Why so you y'all, did y'all go get the beer? No. No. I, when I said no, I'm, I'm glad I said no, because what happened after that, my boy finished his job. I ain't want to fuck up your job, man. Finish your job. You still had to go home. What? He would have had to run home. Yeah. He didn't walk. He didn't have to walk out. Or Uber. Knowing him. It's called an Uber home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got that like, cause once you have a bill, man. I, me personally, I can't have anything to drink and then go work. That does it's like it's no way I would have jogged if I'd have had that bill. That, Hell that, no, that you catch the little, uh, the you catch the little yeah. side cramp. Yeah, that looks, yeah. Ooh, that side cramp ain't no hoe. You didn't mean. I just have it in my mind. <laughs> I'm just not gonna do that, man. Just running after drinking? No way. It's impossible. Yeah. You ever caught that side cramp when you was in the pool before? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's your that's you good. Do not to try to swim. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you just yeah, caught that, that side foot when you were swimming, and, and that, that that hamstring cramp too. That, that Charlie horse in the pool. Ooh, mm-hmm. I caught that bitch in three feet. Well, I was happy I wasn't in eight feet. Right, you got to figure out. So <laughs> yeah. we're in that deep end. You can and you can get it. You can get it. <laughs> Unfortunately, man, you can get it. How people drown once they catch that cramp? Because shit, I done been in three feet and went under because of a cramp. Goddamn. So you know, no idea. I know. You I don't know. Like, I, you go down there to grab that bitch, try to straighten that bitch out, try to stretch it. You know, you got to <laughs> stay in that leg and put them toes. Nigga, face up under the water. I think it's more of being dehydrated than that. Don't eat 30 minutes before you get in the pool. It's always it's being de- dehydrated. You catch a cramp. It's always been confusion whether it's from eating and getting in the pool or whether it's if you're in salt water, the salt water dehydrates you from being in the salt water. So. I can you know, see the eating part though, cause like you man swimming work your whole damn body. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think they came oh, out with a study though that's saying that 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 that's a myth. That's one of those grandma myths that's saying don't sit too close to the TV, you are gonna get blind. One of those type of don't myths. stand in front of the microwave. Uh huh. I'm stop talking. Last one, one of them hoes still to the I, yeah, I, yeah. I still don't. Them hoes just them hoes just seem like they make sense. <laughs> if I'm, I'm not gonna I try to be the one to figure it out either. Right. I just you're talking too loud. You gonna make it thunder more yeah, yeah. Like, The shit ain't gonna happen anyway. <laughs> yeah. Turn Y'all still be unplugging your TVs when it be thundering and shit. Remember they used to make you do that. Unplug yeah. that right. damn TV. Cut that bitch off. Sure That's because they have never just struck my lightning. Right. It's off at this point. Cut, stop talking so loud. You gonna run my light bill up? <laughs> you shit plugged in behind the wall, so she just cut that bitch off at this point. Them niggas used to make up some bullshit. Then don't walk. Hey, you believe in that shit? Yeah. <laughs> you gonna make the cake fall? They said that's yeah. a real one though. Yeah, that cake. They said not today movie. though. Yeah. I guess well, what it be? You, man, you remember them old ass houses back then? Them, them floors used to be uneven as fuck. So you step on one, <laughs> I, I bet you that bitch that keep, cake gonna flip over. Like some Jello, goddamn. <laughs> Here we go. You're tuning in to the Dummies Podcast. I'm Stop. I'm Joe. I'm Todd. I'm who the nigga. And uh, we back like we never left, because like we said every week, we never leave. This is episode 87. It's uh, Sunday, June the 21st. It's Father's Day. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, man. The good man who uh, are doing everything they supposed to do for their kids, man. Being there, being mm-hmm. present in their life, man. Big salute to you. Um, by the time you hear it, it won't be Father's Day, but that still don't mean we can't celebrate y'all, man. Because um, it's, always it's a tough job. Right, yeah, it's a tough job, man. So happy Father's Day to y'all here at the Dummies Podcast, man. Happy um, Father's Day to y'all. Still a big shout out to all our people on the front lines, the nurses and doctors who fighting this pandemic, man. I don't know if y'all are looking. I know we got a lot of shit going on, but you keep seeing in a lot of states, including this one in Alabama, we are seeing record numbers uh, go down. Florida just reported some crazy ass numbers with the corona. Um, so, man, y'all make sure that y'all doing y'all best to... Uh, you know, take care of yourself, man. Wash your hands. Keep your mask on when you're going out in public, man, and kind of limit, you know, things. If you don't have to do it, try not to do it, man. Uh, other than that, we here. Where you at with a hoop? Uh, been a been a been an up and down, bumpy type week. You know, what I'm saying exhausting week. I don't know if it's necessarily the week that's been exhausting. I just think that is everything that's been going on for the past however many months or even the past year. Just Finally, it eventually catches up to you. So the past week for me has been a little bit exhausting. Uh, started off with a bit of a scare. Um, had woke up with a cough one morning, you know what I'm saying? On Monday morning, woke up with a cough. 
it just wasn't feeling right. And I remember reading an article that a lot of people went to the hospital because they didn't have a specific feeling or symptom. They just went because they wasn't feeling right and became, you know what I'm saying, got the di- a positive di- no, diagnosis. Um, but luckily, you know what I'm saying, got my got my results back, came back negative. So so that's a good thing. But even with that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me even with sick. That, always, hello, hello, you were sad waiting on your result. <laughs> the 48 full hours, you know what I'm saying? Hey, I woke food. up Monday. <laughs> Woke up Monday, got there. I was sad until Wednesday when they called me. Hey, shit, like waiting on the result. Right. Were you were you paranoid when you seen numbers that came across the screen and you ain't know? You were like, oh, shit, I got it. And fool, about four, four five the numbers called me, fool. So I had four scares. And then and then once she called, you know what I'm saying? She want to talk about all of this other bullshit. I'm like, lady, would you hurry up and get to the result? It'd be crazy. I don't give a fuck what kind of test you going to take. <laughs> STD test or you waiting back on that pregnancy test or whatever oh, test, nigga. Good. Them be the longest goddamn time in between when you take it and the results. Mm-hmm. Every number that come across that bitch, you be like, hello? Mm-hmm. Hello? <laughs> hello? Yeah. You answer every number. What you got for me? <laughs> next time I know the answer, nigga, what's the result? Yes or no? What is it? Right. They um, be talking, okay. hello, is this Chris? Yes, um, this was her. <laughs> So this is such and such from the, and I wanted to tell you that it's Monday and I, <laughs> hey, bitch. Yeah, what you got for me? Shit. Let me know. <laughs> they should just come on negative. Now you can talk about whatever else you yeah. want to talk about. Guys. Right. Well, she came on the, the, the doctor ran these type of tests, these type of I know I was there. I told him to do it. Um, <laughs> but I, I waited 48 hours for the results, but that was seemed like that. That was the longest time, just the beginning of that conversation. Um, yeah. But even then, for like with the history of black people and going to the hospital, even after I got my results, I still was scared because it made me wonder did they lie to me? Yeah. Do I fully know if it was negative or not? Like, do was it, I had the goodness of their heart to tell me the the correct answer? So well, even we had some paranoid at times, and right, food that, that and, and it's crazy that that's what popped in my head because so often you see it that our and we've talked about it numerous times that our black women are dying more so in hospitals after childbirth and just because they get wrong information from doctors. So that's what immediately popped in my head, even after I jumped for joy and was happy I got a negative diagnosis. Right after that, I'm like, damn, was that the right diagnosis? Am I still okay? Do I still need to worry? And even then, then went right back out this past weekend, and that puts more fears and scares into you. Just make you think, was that the time when I went out this weekend? Did I catch it then? So do I need to go back to the doctor this Monday? It's just at a weird time right now. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. And that's what I mean when I first started this, just saying that it's been exhausting because that all plays a part of it. But so for me, my week has been exhausting. How about yours, Todd? But I enjoyed y'all balls like yesterday, man. We had a blast. We had a blast, and we'll talk about that. Go ahead. Todd, facts, facts, facts. Um, again, man, one of them fast weeks. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm gonna need like, you to have something other than a fast week. Goddamn. <laughs> Tell them bitch to slow down. Then how about that? <laughs> Tell them all to slow down. No, Todd. Sixty-seven more days. For real. T-minus. Man, I, boy, I can't wait. You heard. <laughs> 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 but yeah, man. Um, slow motion, though, man. Uh, um, I actually started back running this week. Who did that? You know, I know we talked about that earlier. So, um, that's about it. Work, same old, same old shit. For real. Um, is that the, like is said, that is, is that a therapy for you, or do you do it for strictly just physical what? health purposes? Running. Um, both. To be honest with you, I can't lie. Um. Running around that trail that I go and run around is like it's like a lake there, and like you got the ducks and shit like that out there. So it it, it got the scenic stuff going, but you know I have my music on and it's just me. You know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. Aside from that, you know, the health part kicks in after that. And no, I don't run them the miles constantly like you do. So it don't matter, man. You all be that It be that sweat for me, like that 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 sweat, that endurance, and like pushing yourself a little bit. It's yeah. like you hate the shit while you're doing it, but when you get through it, kind of be like a, yeah. I, did, I do yeah. feel better. Like it do be like, you know what I'm saying? Cause one of them days I went out there and grinded hard. I was, I don't know, I just with one of them fog ass days. It was just like a blah kind of day. Mm-hmm. I wasn't mad, but you know what I'm saying? Just one of them annoying ass days. I went out there and worked out, came back in the house feeling great, goddamn. Right. Yeah. And them, <laughs> them usually be the best workouts too. Like the ones when yeah. you don't feel like doing that shit. Yeah. yeah. Like that shit, that shit happens often too. Like nigga be on. 0.25 miles and I'm like shit I got 4.75 more to go and I'm dead <laughs> at 0.25 I'm, I guess right. I'm just gonna blow my way through 
<laughs> and sometimes she, that shit helps. And that sometimes that be the best one. You know what I'm saying? That nigga said he got four point seven miles to go. We know that that, that monkey is back at that. <laughs> Joe, what about I you? Going, I ain't going no, over two. <laughs> come on, man. Joe. How was your week, man? Next uh, Sunday, come man. on out there with Maryland. This was one of the uh, most eventful weeks in a minute. Uh, kind of got out a little bit. Um, Does that scare you? Yeah, you was moving. You was like DJ. No, never, <laughs> never be DJ. Never be DJ. Um, what all I did? Uh, Friday. What I what I did Friday? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, That's I went in. Uh, Gio had came over. Went in. Uh, well, we would have met him for a beer. And then Saturday we had our thing yesterday. Uh, then what else I did? Oh, I seen no DJ. I seen DJ Friday. Did do that. And we had our cookout yesterday. So I did two things. My weekend was cool. It's been a long time since I had a cool weekend. How long but you besides that? How long you and CEO sat out there? At, uh, bizarre. Uh, probably about an hour or two. Just chilling. Uh. Yeah, homeboy from uh, UAB. He, you know, was there, and it was cool. Just sitting out, you know, it's a lot of it's a lot of foot traffic coming in and out because they mm-hmm. kind of they're turning into a full bar for real. Yeah. Mm. So that was straight black on. I tried to do all black on Friday. Uh, eight black on, drunk black on. Mm. But uh, yeah, no, nah, my week was cool. How about you, stop? Uh, it was a cool little week, man. Like Todd said, it flew by. Um. Shit, really wasn't much to it. We, you know, had the little cookout or whatnot yesterday. That was dope, man, to finally kind of get around everybody. And I kind of noticed that. You could tell that everybody goddamn was a little man. Happy to be excited out, to be man. around it's other people good. goddamn. Like, damn, I ain't seen people. your ass, but on Zoom. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Good. This my first you know, time you know, seeing you in you a know, few weeks. We, we'd have been at, at this point of the, I know yesterday was the first day of summer, but at this point of hot weather, we would be at cookout number six or seven by this point. Yeah, right? hell yeah. And that was number one. You would have been had a few cookouts by now, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, that was that was dope. Um, Tuesday, I think it was Wednesday. You know, uh, went and got a new addition to the fleet. The girl went and picked up a car. Uh, hey, what? Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying. You can't hide, man. Screw you know. McDuck in his thing. Yeah, you know how it is. You know what I'm saying. I'm swimming in that shit. Oh my <laughs> screen! <laughs> but now nah, it was something we actually been mapping out for a while, so. It's kind of to to be all the way honest about it. Like I know it's just a car, and I don't really get too hung up on material things. But it was just the planning of how it went. Like you know, what I'm saying this was something about a year and a half, two years ago. We marked kind of around this time to do sure, it. Great. And it just so happened that it lined up. It was time to pull the trigger. I mean, it's always good to do it when you don't have to go get a car. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like so, I wish I I wish I was more that way. That nigga said about a year, year and a half of planning. Yeah. Nigga, I'd be like on Tuesday. I want a new car. I'd be in the dealership Saturday. Yeah, that nigga yeah. did. <laughs> But see, but you, I mean, it, it's because you can. But see, in oh, this sporad- one, it was, it was, it, it's sporadic. Like uh, it was one of them situations where like, neither neither one of us had got a car note. So it's like, man, we'll do it like this, and then this one we'll probably get a car note. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you don't really want it, and still didn't necessarily have to do it. So mm-hmm. it was just one of them things, man. It was. Fine I wish time. I could plan more so like that. God damn. I just be er- er- erratic with it. But I, I noticed, cause like you said that we talked about cars this week, and I was, I looked at them, and I'm glad I'm, I'm really glad I'm at that point. And I looked at a few of them, and they was live, and I was like, I really don't even care to go do it right now. Though. I don't know who you didn't beat yourself a couple times this time, man. Cause you you just said about three, four different times that you were going to get a new one, and you done kind of made it past. All right, yeah, yeah, don't waste time. Ooh, I, just, I, I just got an email that said I had this truck for three years, so I don't think I've ever had a car for three years. I don't need that long. <laughs> Hell no, nah, that nigga get some hoes out of there. That yeah. nigga went back, had a challenger, said, I'm going to go back, get a truck, and then got a truck, and then said, now nah, I want my challenger back. Had the challenger by three days, and then took went back and got another truck. I said, this back nigga hit on the way he want. I think I'm chilling now. I think I'm okay to chill at this point. Man. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, don't worry. We'll see. You never know, goddamn. I'm joining the truck club. Fuck around tomorrow, being a dealership. Who knows? <laughs> right. You, I'm definitely getting a truck probably to go around. No doubt. And that's one thing sitting in the girl car, sitting up high, it's just a totally different experience. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It feels safer for some reason, goddamn. It definitely be safer. Because mm-hmm. I, I be thinking about in that challenge, man, that bitch got that little bit of ass back seat. Something hit me back there like you instantly on whatever's back there. Yeah, so that shit gonna like, it's like time to get a man. Mm-hmm. I want to ask y'all. 
Y'all yeah, remember back in the dating days or the days that y'all was, you know, fond of somebody. It could be your dating. wife or whoever. Did y'all ever uh, had that time, that moment in your head when you knew it was time to kind of go for it? Go for it. Like that first, that first kiss moment or something? You like how like you first... knew when it was first time to do that shit? You mean like the first date? <laughs> I think I think aggressive. I mean, yeah, yeah, the first date. I mean, I didn't. I ain't gonna say. Who probably ain't going go on his first date till he was married? Got there. Yeah. Fool, we talk, we've date. talked about this many a time. Fool, like a lot of times that just was our DNA. We ain't really going on many dates until we got older. Like fool, like we was twenty six, twenty seven, going on first dates, niggas. We used to just invite you. Come on, let's watch a movie, and you knew what that meant. Come on, watch a movie. We'll order a pizza. Go time. You know, <laughs> <Not exactly. laughs> but, but most times, shit, stop going to get us with the Me Too movement with these questions. But most times, if she agreed to come over to watch that movie and eat that pizza, it was go time for the most part. <laughs> you knew it was time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was time. But not, not, not if you, you, know, you know, implement the Mobile Special. And if you know what the Mobile Special is, you know what I'm talking about. Um, you, 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 you invite them all a few times, but, you know, that just be what it is. We can't tell you when. To you know, surprise them. I had a okay, that's I had a short attention shit. time span, man. My my attention time span was real short. So once you coming up once or twice, you ain't giving me that right vibe. You out of there. Sorry, yeah, no, yeah. no offense. Yeah. No, what I'm saying. No you say no, problem. no, it's cool with me, but yeah. um, once or twice that I ain't get the vibe I like. Bye. <laughs> but see, that's the thing with the mobile special. We already know, you know. Oh, I like her. You know what I'm saying. That's when you bring mm-hmm. that out. You know what I'm saying. So yeah. sometimes I, had to school, I got to pre qualify. Yeah. Pre qualify. Right. Yeah, they had to hit the pre-qualification. Yeah. <laughs> hit the right application in. But but the ultimate sign is when that is when that back lift up. You know when that when that, you know mm. that be the ultimate sign. You just skipped I mean, a whole bunch of steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah going step. straight to the back. We were just trying to say when the first time you knew it was time to try yeah, to get that kiss. Yeah. I mean, we talking about pizza. And oh, shit. Uh, a lot of times the back lift up was way before the kiss. Yeah. What you, you know, mean by the back lift up? Give some clarity on the back lift up. Though. Explain this to me. <laughs> I don't know what the backlift up is. I'm sorry. It's when uh, she laying there, who you know, what I'm saying he right. So then, 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 like Stock said, he skipped a lot of steps. If, if she laying there, he skipped a lot of steps. Well, see, this Joe, a, you know, what I'm saying I'm Joe, a, he don't got to do all that. And I'm not a kissing I feel, person. I feel you, cuz I was a kissing that nigga. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, that's, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. That's why you like. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Get the mood going, man. You ain't kissing that. That nigga say he was a kissing that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas so stupid. Um, another interesting week, man. We saw like um again several companies trying to go out correct themselves uh, in this in the age of trying to make sure that I'm right. Um. And we saw this week, uh, I forgot who the fuck it is on on it, but uh, the Aunt Jemima brand of pancake syrup and pancake mix and stuff now uh, said that they're going to change the name. I don't know if y'all had a chance to see this, but uh, they said that, you know, it's finally time to, to correct the image. Uh, and if you go back from the days, I know a lot of people grew up with this image, but the image I grew up with, she had the little handkerchief. Mm-hmm. Yeah, on a, on a, on the yeah. head and shit. Yeah, and I remember that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, so they finally saying that now that it's time to completely change the name of it all together. Did y'all see any of that? Yeah, as long as they don't change the ingredients in their syrup, they fine. <laughs> I wonder what they, they gonna go with because I feel like they are gonna change it from some racist to something else that's gonna be racist. That's just how I feel. Uh, like in some form of that, other things, you unless you change. unless you put a millennial on that motherfucker, like, what you gonna do? Most times, if they're gonna put an older black lady in some way, form, or fashion, somebody gonna probably see it as some type of racist. You know they really could just take the picture off and just have your the name up there. Well, I got a question for y'all about that too. Like, did do y'all did y'all have a problem with it? Like, honestly, no, no. And I, um, I didn't. I actually saw. I read it. somewhere that the family of whoever is actually supposed to be didn't have a problem with it either. Right. So that's how I see it. I didn't. I didn't fully see it as a problem with it. I just saw it for me, honestly, because even if it was a, a an offensive term from them, it's just that's how I, I've witnessed a lot of older black women. That's how I've witnessed them. So if you're paying yeah. your respects to an older black woman, then you're putting an older black woman in her form. Well, I would find it more and more offensive if you put an older black woman in a form that she wasn't in or something she didn't well, do or wear. Well, can't get right when you when you saw that the family didn't care was that. As of now, because I know at one point I read that they hadn't been even getting royalties or compensation at first. 
Well, that well, that was good. as of now, so they might have tried to fix it. I don't correct. know. Gotcha, gotcha. Because mm-hmm. when I saw that, I thought that that was trash. And, you know, and that probably that didn't, that probably was, was I in the was you know contract. I ain't yeah, at one point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At one point, they went. Now that was. I, I don't know when they changed. I don't nothing about the backstory, but I just know I read at one point they weren't getting any royalties or anything mm. uh, for that. Um, mm, so crazy. y'all bums. Uh, Sir, uh, who? Damn, it just say ancient mom. I can't even call out a company. Yeah, it's. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I thought it was. I, I think it's Quakers, but uh, Quakers Pepsi-Co. is still yeah, Pepsi-Co. PepsiCo. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what I thought. So Quakers is still owned by PepsiCo. So. Um. I guess brand it, since 1926. They're going to retire the name and the image, uh, which originated from a racial uh, racial stereotype. So if it was originated from a uh, racial stereotype, then I get it. And I think that's that's part of the the things that they're trying to do. Like it might not. I think sometimes too, we we're kind of so young that we just grew up into it. So like when we look mm-hmm. at Aunt Jemima serve, it's like, oh, okay, that's the name of the serve. But mm-hmm. if if the origins came from something that was racist, then you probably do need to change need that to change. shit. Yeah, you know what I'm I agree. I, like, it, us, it, like not knowing that background, when I look at it, I look like that kind of reminds me of my grandmother, honestly. Right, you know and, and it's a, it's it's just a lot of things that that we find that we're finding out, and you know, we got another story that I'm gonna bring up later on when we get to the uh, sports section uh, that we'll you know take a look at. All right, man, and also uh, speaking of that, man, we've seen a lot of just different organizations, companies, schools, a lot of people. Are, are, are switching things up because of of, of racial undertone, uh, like sort of say, UNLV. UNLV has taken down their um, their mascot logo because he's a rebel. So mm. of course the rebels are are, are seen to be um, with some racist sentiment behind it. Also, uh, NCAA said unless Ole Miss changes some things in Mississippi, then they're not going to get any any more championship games down there as well. Um, also, with Florida going into Florida, uh, the Florida Gators. Um, because of what we think the meaning behind uh, the gator chop or the gator bait thing um, of what they do, uh, they're they're stopping doing the gator chop as well. Um, so, do y'all see this as a thing? And do you do you read too much in it into it, or is it the right move to make right now at this point? And are they are they overreacting, or are they acting the way that they should act? In, in my opinion, some of it is overreacting. I think the Florida one is overreacting. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what I if think, it's what if it's what if it's they're doing it because the actual meaning may be what we think that means. Meaning, uh, back in the day, they gave black babies to gators. Is the same? Uh, is that true or not? We don't know. But we've saw those stories. We've read those stories. But if that's where it came from, is that overreacting? Then, back in the day, they enslaved black people for cotton. I mean. But if you ain't wearing a t-shirt now to for you know for racism for a sign of racism, then it doesn't matter. When people do that gator chomp, mm-hmm. it's to say I'm a fan of Florida Gators football. That's gotcha. all it's saying. It's not a symbolism of racism like the Confederate flag. Mm-hmm. Like people was calling for uh the Texas Rangers to change their name. Mm-hmm. Like they was like, no. And some people should be like, Florida should have said, no, I'm mm-hmm. not changing that. And then how you mm-hmm. what would you gonna kick every student out there do it? Well, I don't think that it was that Florida had to say no. Their president came out and did it. Yeah, he just own. came out and said it. I don't know. I don't okay. even know how that, that just came out of nowhere and out the blue. Mm. And he was like, this is what we're going to say. So I wonder where that comes from. I wonder what he knows to make him make that decision. I and mean, the thing I think, is, I think he knows more than what we know. Gators aren't racist. If you have threw a white baby out there, they was going to eat the white baby too. They equal <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> Never seen a racist <laughs> gator. Not a one. <laughs> Leave the gators alone. All babies matter. The gators. I think. I think like like can't get right said. All of these are different instances. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like you can take them as the same. Um, like what they're talking about in Mississippi, they just saying, "Hey, Mississippi has the Confederate flag on top of their flag, like on the top of their state flag." So, to mm-hmm. y'all do something about it, we going to halt uh, any business or championship dealings with that state. That's the right thing to do to me. It's yeah. it's 2020. We've said this repeatedly. Not only during this time, we have said this throughout time. It's, it's time to to not see that shit. The Confederacy lost. You lost the war. This is the United States of America. Fly that flag. Like can't get right. Said you don't see Germany still flying Nazi flags. Um, shit. You don't see you don't see Americans flying British flags still. We defeated Britain. Britain lost. They are no longer on this country anymore. Have parts in that. You fly an American flag. So that's what we all need to be flying. 
Um, as far as stuff like with Florida, I honestly don't know enough. I, I've, I've read that story. Um, and I feel like if that is the origin of that story, like we just said, if stuff originates from a racist saying, uh, I am agreeing with Can't Get Right that when people do that, they only thinking about the University of Florida and the niggas running around on the field tackling each other. But if that came at any point before I was born or anything like that, that that came from a, a racist slogan or that was, you know, came from racist nature, then it is kind of hard to see it stand knowing where it came from. And I think that's the problem. We are, we're all kind of relatively young, man. And so some of this shit we was born into and it's always been like that. So we've never that's thought it. about you know the and origins the of same, some of that shit. That's the same as Ancient Mama. Well, yeah, we love the syrup, but if Ancient Mama herself came from a, a, a racist undertone, yeah, change it. Yeah. yeah. And you know, I was talking to somebody. I was talking to somebody, and this is similar, but not the same. Um, we was having a really good conversation about. Uh, it was one of my white friends. We was sitting down. We had a long conversation about black and white. Um. And one of the things that I think we get misunderstood about is I think we get misunderstood about language. And what I what I was what they were telling me was they knew somebody who didn't like the Black Lives Matter movement because they felt that it was a form of communism, Um, because in their slogan, they use the words comrades, like a a group of comrades or things like that. Right. Uh, And comrades originated from a, a communist country. And I, I kind of told him, I said, you know, when I hear that, I don't think there's one black person in America that looks at that and thinks comrades and think communists. There's no way that that's what they're thinking. If I say shit, me and my comrades, I'm thinking about me and my dogs, me and my friends. Right. And so if that's the language that... Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking at the language. Right. So that's what I'm telling him. I said, I don't think... I, when we say some shit like that, I said, we're black people are notorious at using language that we hear and turn it into something. You'll see some black like me and my Taliban, we riding. Like we just turn some shit because it sound right. cool. Or like, you know what I'm saying? And we, we don't give a fuck what it meant to them. For us, it meant something totally different. So I was just saying a lot of a lot of some of this stuff or some of this miscommunication falls down to language. We'll just use some shit just because it sound cool. It's some nice lingo. You know, we don't call police police. It's 12. It's 5-0. It's whatever language we call for it. And we, somebody might be like, well, you know 5-0 comes from the Greek mythology. Nigga, we don't give a fuck. That's what we call it. I don't know why I call them 5-0. I just know that that's what I was I don't know what 5-0 or 12. Uh, I kind of get one time. 5-0 and 12, I think, came from the numbers that be on the cars. It be numbers on top of the cars. Mm-hmm. That's what uh, that's I, mean, I always interpret it. I mean, but but if you do that all the way, then you can never get anything from the ice cream truck because that song's supposedly racist. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can't have a picnic. Shit, we just had a picnic. Mm-hmm. Come from Pick a Nigga. So mm-hmm. yeah. at some point, like if that isn't a symbolism for it, man. Yeah, like, we had a craw- we had a crawfish ball, but when we do the research on that, crawfish ball might mean something else too. Yeah, for <laughs> you never know, bro. Like we, yeah, that shit just be crazy, man. But then I, I, I do y'all think that continues? What do you think is next? What's the next branding thing to change? I'm thinking alcohol, like uh, with Uncle Nearest and shit like that. Just just alcohol brands and things like that. I think that's what's going to be next. And I don't think this eventually it'll stop. But I think for the near future, it doesn't stop, and we're going to see a number of other other things. I just think that things that, that always change. evolve. You know what I'm saying? We always see that there's things that evolve. Like at one point, even with like language and words, like this word was acceptable. Now it's no longer acceptable. Right. You used to call these kind of kids this. And as we evolve, it's no longer acceptable to call them that. You know what I'm saying? You used to smoke on an airplane and shit. Now it's no longer, you can't even smoke at your damn house damn near. You know what I'm saying? So I think just things always evolve. Um, and I think What's so strong about this movement is we have endured racism so long and our system is so deeply rooted in racism that some of this stuff that they're changing and undoing is just going to be extreme because we're undoing shit that never was dealt with. That's what I'm about to ask you because like we always say, you think there are some unintended consequences that's going to happen. Not with this, yeah, not like, with racism. Like racism shouldn't well, exist, period. Everybody like if you well, know no, no, somebody, no, no, no. Not, color necessarily, not necessarily saying racism, but in saying changing things that maybe we didn't even have to change. 
So uh, does the uh, Popeyes lady have to get fired now? Is that right? Is that considered? You know, like no, because that can be considered pandering, maybe. So I don't know. That's what, and that's what the unintended consequence. I don't know. I, I, I feel it's weird, man. I think that some. I, I'm not gonna go against some of the things that are happening because they're needed, but I do think that in this overcorrection stage, they're gonna overcorrect some shit. And um, beyond more than anything, I don't give a fuck about all this correction shit. Uh, I definitely is needed. I don't give a fuck about all these street signs and all that stuff changing. It's great and it's dope to see, but I want to see legislation change. That's yeah. when I know this shit that's is being China. serious. And that's when I know that y'all really trying to do stuff to help protect me, people who look like me, my friends and my family is when you start changing legislation to make sure that that I'm taken care of and that people look like me taken care of. Don't just change a street name and be like, oh shit, if we if we do this, this will keep them quiet for a couple of more years. Nah, motherfucker, I want to see some legislation changes. And when come election time, I want to see some heads roll, especially the ones who have sat there. And I'm, I was watching uh, some shit the other day when one of the uh, one of the politicians didn't even, couldn't even say Black Lives Matter. He kept saying all lives matter. All lives matter. They said, man, just say Black Lives Matter. All lives matter. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. People who are complicit in that shit, that shit they gotta stupid. go. Like they don't realize all lives are included in black lives, so that means it's okay to say black lives matter. Right. Man, and when, no. and it, your people are not dumb. They know exactly right. they what know exactly what they're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. if you're gonna so, say all lives matter, you're really saying black lives matter. So just, just like it was like, a, and, a, and that, I, it, it goes with the times of whatever's going on at that time. LGBTQ. T, I'm sorry, I don't mean to mess up the letters. Don't, yeah. Um, but those lives matter, you know what I'm saying? Blue lives matter, yeah. Black lives matter, but at this time right now, what we're talking about, what we're going through, we're talking about black lives matter. So that's what you support. Well, the reason, the reason you why the... That, and you got to remember the reason why the slogan was coined. It was coined because we have over and over felt like we don't matter. So we're not saying we matter more than other people. We're saying right now, remember us. We matter. Because y'all act like we uh, don't. A comedian... A comedian, a comedian did a. I want to say it was Shake. What's his name? Can you? I'm sure you know it. Shake. Uh, something. Oh, shape. oh, uh, from Saturday Night Live. Uh, yeah. Chi something. Yeah, shape. Michael Chi. Yeah. Michael Shake. And all he was basically saying is that y'all do realize that black people are settling less than what y'all get them give them credit for. We're just simply saying that black lives matters. Like we're settling yeah. for matters. Like, right. right. Yeah, he did. That was a good one. I, like, I seen that little clip. Going off of, it's not saying we're better. We're not saying we're superior. We're just simply saying matter. Y'all can't matter. agree with that. Right. You're racist if you can. How you um, get mad no. at somebody saying, hey, man, I matter too? Yeah. <laughs> right. Racist. Yeah. You, you disagree? Racist. Because if our lives really did matter, right. we wouldn't have to say black lives matter. It'd be understood. And you yeah. wouldn't have an argument with me saying it. Yeah. Yeah. I, saw, I, I saw a white man comment that yeah, uh, it's just very hard when you say Black Lives Matter. I feel alienated, and I was like, a white man in America feeling alienated. Damn, that must be tough on you. Who's alienated? <laughs> he said he was because <laughs> because say everybody <laughs> said Black Lives Matter. He he feels that way now because he's not included in Black Lives Matter. You know why? Because your life has always mattered. So you don't, well, I, I've you seen a, a to, to be all the way honest, man. I get, I get, I, I get that, about, but then I, you got to agree. You got to understand both sides too. Yeah, but t talking about race, and this is what I was going to say, man. Talking about race and all these issues that are going on, um, them not liking the white privilege thing and saying that they feel alienated. I think there's a guilt that comes with accepting, accepting that shit. Like, for instance. Saying that, oh, I don't want, can we not use the word privilege? Like, because there's no such thing as a white privilege. To me, there's a privilege in being able to say that. Like, mm -hmm. you want to change the slogan and the words on things so you can accept it better. But it's meant to make you uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. it, it's meant to say that Black Lives Matter because there's been a lot of people that have turned their heads and, and, and not let Black Lives Matter. So now all of these movements are just showing you when you feel like you're getting uncomfortable, that's what they're supposed to do. You're not supposed to feel comfortable in that shit. You're supposed to feel bad. You're supposed to feel compelled to let me do something. Let me help and let my voice be a part of this argument. That's the whole purpose of it. This shit ain't meant to make you feel good. Because I saw uh, some white pastor or something was like he didn't want to be 
he doesn't like the term white privilege. <laughs> the, uh, sorry, mm-hmm. like can't get right to say it. The, uh, the audacity. <laughs> Like oh, you got one to feel privilege, you know what I'm saying? So I just think that all of this is honestly a little guilt in it, and they feel like uh, for us to come up, they're losing something, or right, man. And you know, we, and they we, get to get stuff, we're losing perks. Nah, man, it's just trying to make everybody be on a fair, even playing field. So if I be wondering, like, like when they say that, shit, what, I be wondering, <laughs> who, like, what do they see when they say that shit? Like, it's no white privilege. Like when we see. A white teacher can live in Mountain Brook, but then a white, a black teacher has because, to live in West Because because that makes like, them feel better that that they work just as hard when or, right or, or a white. But you can't that's, if you can understand that's it, that can't you don't right. any, you don't see any black cops or any black teachers living in Mountain Brook like you see a, a white cop. No, no, no. They home. did that. They did that all their hard work. It wasn't because right. they was endowed a million dollars. It's because no, all of their hard work. So right. yeah, so why, your hard work? So why the same black? Teacher and cop couple don't live in the same neighborhood as you are. Because you're lazy. Live in the same. Uh, you're lazy. Yeah, we, you could have. You got too many excuses. Yeah, we do yourself up by you. your bootstraps. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I don't guess. have boots. We work together. <laughs> what about bullets? Right. I just feel like it's one boots. of those things. I mean, just think about it. It's one of those things when you think that you have worked hard and bust your ass, and we're not to say that they that they're not work hard workers and things like that. It's plenty of them had to come get it out the mud too, but. What we're saying is, if you're in a situation to where, like, think about it, you think that you can work hard and bust your ass, and you don't want to accept that you have a privilege or you have a leg up or you have uh, some form of help, because then it it takes away from the narrative of that. Ooh, I worked so hard and got it. Nobody's saying that you didn't work hard to get it, but just understand there are perks that come with that privilege. It might not be monetary, Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, it might not be money. Understand that we work just as hard, but didn't get that same privilege. Right. Some who, who who end up with the same amount that they have worked harder to get. They had to work twice as hard to get where you are. So they they that's something that they don't want to accept or understand. Like period. Yeah. Like uh, hey, Wayne said, I mean, I, mean, I did. I'm I'm the right. biggest entertainer in in my um, one of the biggest entertainers in my community, and I live next to a teacher. <laughs> like <laughs> right. like this is what all I had to do to be next to you, goddamn. Right. So. Um, Chris Rock was like his next door neighbor, Dennis. <laughs> right. right. Y'all, um, y'all think rules apply to kids after they go off to college? I want to get the fuck away from that for a little. Uh, <laughs> get, get, give no, me a little bit more. And, uh, an example. Okay, you got an eighteen. You got an eighteen year old boy, nineteen year old boy. Or something. He goes off to college, comes home for that first summer, and uh, he's staying with his his mom or his aunt and them, and they be like. Uh, you can't just come in at any time. You need to be in at this time. Or you got to do. Do y'all think those rules apply to kids once they leave to go to college? Mom, I'm oh, yeah. on vacation. Leave me alone. No, <laughs> I, I, I get right. You had close. I'm basing that off my life, though. Off my life, when I went off to college and went home, I had no rules, no standards. But that might be different for me because I didn't have them prior to when I I didn't have as many prior to when I went to college either. So what about for me? You, no, Paul, you I had to deal that, with it more recently. Yeah, uh, just just personally, when I came home, yeah, you know, you coming home two, two, three in the morning, somebody else's house, uh, waking them up. That I can see how that could be a problem. <laughs> uh, at the time, I was like, you know what? I go stay at my grandmother's house. Mm-hmm. She not gonna care, and she gonna cook me breakfast in the morning. <laughs> so bet that's what I do. Come say hey to you, hey mama. I'm going to my grandmother's house. So would you do the same? Would you like if you had that eighteen year old, nineteen year old kid come home two, three, four, five in the morning? How would you feel about it? I think I'd be more lenient. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't make it too crazy, especially at the age. But I had to tell my mama this too, because my little sister, she, you know, she been at home. She finally got to, you know, go off for a little while. Uh back to Tuscaloosa for a second. You don't be used to that her shit. Friend, her friend wanted to stay. It was supposed to be a pool party or some shit. She called, which I wouldn't even have called. I just was like, hey, deal with that mm-hmm. shit in the morning. She called and said, Hey, uh, such and such wanna stay. She driving, cool. Mom got upset. Like you can't do that because mm-hmm. if she was in college, you don't know what time she getting in. You know? like if she. Well, was, I, I get it. I get it right now. now. I get that now because I would feel like that now with these times we're going through. Like, no, I wouldn't want Warren to bring his college buddy to my house right now. Me personally, at this point in time. But if it was normal time, cool. I don't care. Man, well, shit, like my COVID aside, I don't. Right. Well, yeah, and that's what, that's why I think I think that he he's saying that with his mom. It 
I think they have more things going into it right now with his kid sister who's but, in college right now going through COVID. But with him, but like, also, when you when you yeah came yeah, yeah but that's college, what I'm saying. Don't get COVID the fuck out of here. Don't that's uh, some unnormal right. ass shit. Just normal mm-hmm. standard time. Can your kids come in at three four o'clock in the morning once they've gone off to college? A boy, yeah, a girl. I question it. Man, that my shit mama, just for me personally. Thing. My mama, when I'm damn near thirty, and I couldn't do that at my mama house. So I did well, what Joe did. Stay at, at my grandma. Four in the morning? Hell yeah, nigga, you better stay where you at. Is what she told me. Damn, so I just go to my grandma. My mama house. actually said the same thing. She was like, "You was a boy, so I gave you a little bit more, you know, a little bit more rope or whatever." Mm-hmm. Man, let me not say rope, might get counseled. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you black, you black, but you can say that. But but she was like a girl. I need to know where you're at. You know, you you know, I need to kind of keep more more tabs on you. I like I get that too, but you don't know where she at when she's in school. Yeah. And she I'm, wasn't even a problem child. And so I, I'm like you can't get right I'm, I'm on for on both sides of it But like I feel like once Like I got a daughter Once she hit 18 and go off to college The game is up Sorry I did, I did what I could do the, the gig is up I did everything I could I done provided everything Only thing I ask you is For instance When you in college I don't I don't know what the fuck time that girl coming in and out You know what I'm saying And I can't police that She's grown You do everything you can to raise your kids For when the day they walk out of there to be as self-sufficient and make the best choices that they can. You just hope that they make good decisions. So now she comes home for the summer and she's been, you know, doing what she wanted to do for the last whatever. I just ask that you respect my house, but you know, just let me know what you're doing. Like, hey, I might not come home tonight, or hey, I'm I'm here. Or I just want to know where you're at since you are home, you know, to make sure do I need to look out for you? Do I need to, you know what I'm saying? Just check in with me, who you with, stuff like that. But I just really can't police what time you come in no more because at this point you you you're really grown you got a whole dorm or apartment to yourself somewhere it's the gig is up for me and, and i noticed with that you can sometimes push them away too if you're yes. being too, and, yeah. too police and you you're gonna push them away they're gonna be like well, I, said, I could just stay at school and not have to deal with this i told my mama that i'm like that's why i didn't she you know we didn't talk about a week we, she called me saturday but we didn't talk about a week but i'm like yeah that's why i want to stay at my grandma's house but uh, I got another question for y'all, because all y'all have daughters. Saying that same situation, because it was different for me. Saying that same situation, if she brings home someone of the opposite sex, can they stay in the same room? No. Absolutely. Not at 18. Maybe 20, once 21, you're... 22, 23. I mean, it's, it's, it's tough to say. At 21, 22, 23, maybe, but we're going to have a talk. You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like you're grown, and if it's you're not a significant, not just an other sex, that guy, that has to be your boyfriend. Y'all have to have. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not, yeah, just, gonna bring this, I'm you're not just gonna bring this random nigga to my house. No, but no. If it's your boyfriend, and I know the nigga, I've talked to the nigga, and, and you know what I'm saying, he seems like an okay kid. Yeah, but you're not gonna bring this uh 21 year old SoundCloud rapper in my house. No. Why that man got to be a SoundCloud rapper? <laughs> I'm just saying. Why, I'm just saying. why that man? Why that man? So can't be fine, a, why he so can't be no app developer or something? She might be bringing home a lawyer or some shit. If he signed, nigga, you better get a hotel room. <laughs> you come over. For, I, I barbecue for us. But you that's a good question you. though, can't get right. I, um, <laughs> I feel like it's all gonna depend on age. College, nah. No, 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 no. Because I know that nigga might be gone next week. You know, know that. Yeah. You think y'all in love, but yeah. that nigga gonna be gone next week. Mm-hmm. But. Like if they like already living together, or, you know, stuff like that, or if she even had her own apartment or some shit like that. Like again, that goes back to the point. I can't police that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be more lenient with it then, but through college, probably not. Because because my parents ain't have a, a big, you know, they ain't have a deal with it. But I try not to do it or let it be seen that I was doing it early on because I was I thought I was setting a bad example for my little sister that that she was cool. And then when they said, because there's no way they're going to let her do that. Hell no. Nah. But right. I shouldn't be allowed to do it either, but I kind of get it. Yeah. It's, I don't miss somewhere where I had to go sleep in another way. room. Yeah, for a couple of hours, everybody go to sleep. Then, right. you, know. and then you creep in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you got to creep in. You got to um, creep in. They sleep. Come on now. I know their patterns. This week's <laughs> weird shit. <laughs> Ain't nothing worse than a squeaky head, boy. I tell you, oh, you better get on that flow back there, man. Get on the floor, boy. There. You yo, you got young knees. Get on the floor, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga need be uh, burnt up when he get through. Uh, yeah. You ever didn't realize your knees were burnt up till you got in the shower that next day? That next oh, yeah. strawberry got burnt. <laughs> yeah, burnt. Dummy. You ain't know them bitches were uh, burnt up. <laughs> Damn, nigga had a hidden. For- nigga had a hidden burn. But that water first hit you. But did that make you proud though? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I put it work last night. He put it work. I was on fire. <laughs> Literally. Literally. <laughs> Y'all seen um this week some crazy shit happened, man. There was uh cell phone outages uh that hit actually uh T Mobile, Sprint, AT ATT, and Verizon customers. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if y'all saw that, but it was a large number of cell phone outages across the country. Did y'all see this mm-hmm. crazy shit? I saw that shit. I, and I, saw it, that but I thought it was. I didn't know it was AT and T though. I nah, it was, it was T-Mobile. I when the news, it. when the news, it was a lot of T-Mobile people complaining about it. But it actually, depending on your area and where you was at, it hit uh, not only cell phone um, coverages, but it was a, a number of other companies that got hit with it too, which was mm-hmm. making a lot of people skeptical. Because I personally think it was something other than some fucking outages. Me personally, right? Yeah, and, me too. And, and I saw it was a number of things. I saw it was. Um, it was possibly because they were putting tracking devices because of that COVID uh, nineteen tracking system. Also, I saw a lot. I saw a lot of things saying that it could have possibly been China, and you know, what I'm saying they, they're hacking a lot of different systems just to show America who they are. Um, it's tough to know what to believe and what to think it was at this point in time when nobody will really tell you anything. Yeah. Um, so whatever it is, I think it's deeper and darker than whatever we think or know that it is. Question: But if they why- if they tell you that. That 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 is that to you it doesn't cause mass hysteria or panic amongst it you, does other people. I think it does. So I get why they hold it from us, but then sometimes it's still me as a thinker makes me think about and knowing that it's more than what it actually is too. Somebody was telling me one time, um, they was talking about when Obama was still in office, how like you know Russia and them kind of was playing with us and hacking shit, and China was too, and like how you said to show us that they can do it, but. Uh, and that special, it, they were showing how our technology is so much more superior than them. We just don't use it in the dark the ways up. that some of them use it. Mm-hmm. But uh, they said China, uh, I mean, when Russia was fucking with our system, Obama hit them back with an attack that like shut down their whole grid for like almost a whole day. Mm-hmm. Like just to say like, we, we can got play like that too. Like, yeah, stop playing with me. Right. Like, hey, look, man, on, listen, no, we can do this on, at bro, any bro. moment. I know you, God. I know you <laughs> play, me, but if I punch you for real, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, hey, question. Why why is people so against that COVID 19? I saw Apple that too, and that's a good ass question, can't get right. Like that's so people, weird to me. You know why I, it's it not, it's not to me. But go ahead, it, stop. Why? I just think that like I think it's part of the reason why we can't stop the spread of COVID here. I think the thing that the, the luxuries that we get to enjoy, the, the freedoms and things which are needed, our country is free. I think that's some of the very reasons too why we can't stop COVID. We because you know we get we get put in the house too long. Everybody want to uprise and get mad and want out. Um, they put tracking devices to try to help track the spread of COVID. It's like oh, don't put that on your phone. They trying to they trying to track you, like. At this point, I don't know if anybody knows this or not, but they can track you wherever you're at. They can find mm-hmm. you. You put your social up on everything. Your debit card is everywhere. You got phones that you didn't put your thumbprint and your face into. You got all of these different logins and shit. Trust me, if they want to track you, they can track you even without that shit. You didn't sign up mm-hmm. and consent it to so much shit that you don't even realize you didn't consent it to. Every time you get the new app, you you just scroll through and then hit OK. So you mm-hmm. done consented so many damn times. Mm-hmm. Put the COVID shit on there so they can track down who got it and who don't so we can try to get through this shit. Agreed. And, then, and that's why... That's and do why y'all I, really I, think your ads... <laughs> why do you think your ads kind of fits you so so close? <laughs> right. <laughs> you don't mean we think about it like that. Don't don't popcorn don't, and everything we didn't talk about. Everything we didn't talk about on this goddamn pod gonna pop up in our phone when we hang up. Exactly. All kind of ancient mama ass gonna be in our spirit. (laughs) But that's why I see why they don't they don't like it. Like I get it and I really don't care. I download it, I cut it on, cool. You gonna track me, you've been tracking me forever, but that's why I can see why they wouldn't want to do it because they don't fully understand how we have an understanding of it, I would say. Because um, I would it, like to know if I was somewhere and somebody says, "Oh yeah, oh they was at that same place and they tested positive," I would agree. That's some but valuable then, information. But then you get to a point to where, as uh, so many times that you see these companies use that information for the wrong purposes, you can get why a person would be like, "Nah, I don't want that shit." Yeah, they still using it for the wrong purpose, and then I, they stand it on Facebook. I agree. And, then every, I agree. and then every month they put, "Oh, if you post this, then Facebook won't track you." Okay. Sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, am I the only it. one that read them shits and be like, nah, I'm not doing that. That's a, giving them the permission. Like, I feel like whatever they telling me to do is going to be the opposite. Exactly. Like, go so in there, hit settings, hit let follow, and then allow. No. Kind of like saying, go go order this uh 
Amazon bike for $32. <laughs> <laughs> Them boys send me my motherfucking money back so quick. <laughs> got y'all, man. Bro, all y'all niggas thought y'all had that Amazon bike, didn't well, I, got the, I got a top-notch bike coming tomorrow. No, it ain't. They said they couldn't find my address. <laughs> We had uh, <laughs> I wonder what's the deeper dark. So that makes me wonder what's the deeper darker scheme behind that. Somebody got y'all credit card information. They <laughs> <laughs> had it anyway. <laughs> did y'all see um, did y'all see that uh, what the fuck was I finna say? Oh, the COVID vaccine. They said that shit won't work if black people don't participate in the study. Did y'all see that? Yes, it won't yeah, work. you can kiss my ass with that shit. Hey, <laughs> Tuskegee, Tuskegee, Tuskegee experiment, experiment all the way, all the way treating, over again. I'm treating, I'm treating it just like the flu shot. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm gonna let you come and shoot me with whatever it is you got, it so I won't get it. I, yeah, I right. said that's the way y'all think y'all finna get niggas. That ain't gonna work. Stupid. <laughs> you better put some money behind. Don't even like needles. <laughs> we done had enough of that. Nigga get a tattoo but don't want a shot. Hell no, don't want a shot. Don't give me that. Uh-huh. But they, the person who did put out this article, um, everything that y'all just said actually fit it because it said that um, the experts were saying how the reason that they're hearing African Americans won't participate uh, is beyond heartbreaking and it's disappointing um, what we have done. And it just shows how deeply divided and how much race plays an issue into it because they're basically saying they cited stuff like the Tuskegee experiment it has us. Completely know not to fuck around and participate in shit like that no more. So, so they, only got them, they only have themselves to blame. Sorry, shit. Y'all right, yeah. fuck, we, like, oh, I feel bad. Up. Let me go get your shot now. Or your vaccine. Fuck yeah. off. No, I'm not doing nah. that. And I and 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 I mean, she. I just was saying that that particular expert got it. Like she wasn't mad about it. She wasn't. She just said that it's just sad that we've done that to such a group of people. It's fucked up. Give so. me the vaccine you gave Karen. I want that one. Give me the no, cure. That Fuck the vaccine. Just cure me, God damn it. You Quit. can't cure a virus. I'm not, I give me the cure. Find a way. Shit. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I ain't gonna let you give me the virus. <laughs> Y'all saying, gotta school me on that on um, the app too, because I like I I saw so Mary put it in the group. It's not an app, but it's just in your phone. But that's what I'm saying. You gotta school me on. I don't. I don't even know what 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 to look for it. I mean, I saw Baron put it uh, in the group, but I ain't. It's like you no go attention. to health, settings, and privacy, health. health. Yeah, health. privacy, health. Gotcha. And it's right there. Mm-hmm. But uh question, because you know, we was uh you know, we was all super black uh June 19th, and I loved it yeah. going out, you know, everybody speaking, everybody with their shirts and everything. Uh different uh, the whole city had something going on. I loved it. But I just have one question. Um uh, can we not grill anymore on the fourth? <laughs> I'm grilling any mm. day I can. Yeah. <laughs> I think you can. <laughs> I ain't want to be, you know, I ain't want to get kicked out. So. <laughs> you say you're going to get kicked out. Just don't, nigga, don't, don't post nigga it. Nigga banished on, on from the black media. society, goddamn. Hey, man, I'm, yeah. all, I'm, all, for, post I'm all for a day off from work. I think it, I could be wrong for this, and I hope it's, it, it, it ain't because I'm not trying to be I wrong. But I, I think it's just, it's just the same thing. We're saying that Juneteenth, let's celebrate this as part of American history, just like we would celebrate July 4th. It's part of American history. It's all American history. I am an American. We're all Americans. Let's celebrate it. We celebrate that's blacks. It. We celebrate whites. We Cinco de Mayo. That's American. Because Mexico doesn't even fuck with <laughs> that. Fuck with <laughs> right that's an American. It's a goddamn holiday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We gonna say, I just I wanted to make sure. You know, I still want to, you know, put my feet on and fire up the grill. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That I shit think was dope, though, though. I think you can uh, celebrate two separate things. June, Juneteenth, that, that, that whole day was like, that was it was just like a feeling that you had. I don't know if you if you felt it, but it was just like you know, like damn, we together on this shit. Like everybody yeah. was just. I mean, really just, I mean, you, you know, felt vibing. that energy. Right. Yeah, energy is a real thing, and you mm-hmm. felt it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, I hate you know part of it all is all these senseless killing of black people and and it's just blatant racism. But whatever caused it, or even dummy. Uh, I'm happy for the dummy. results. I'm happy for the results. The results of it, because right. you brought awareness to it, however way right. it came, it was cool. Because I always knew dummy. about it, but that was the first time I actually celebrated it in a very long time. Right. Yeah. So, I my first, dope. I went to parade when I was like uh, ten or eleven, something like that. I had text Martin and asked him, "Do he remember?" Because him and his dad. Uh, his dad was the first person to take me that I can remember. So, mom, you know, if you're listening, I'm sorry, but that I can remember was the first time I actually went and celebrated one. 
And then from there on out, you know, it was several others that I celebrated, but they used to do a big one up in Wisconsin that they used to celebrate a lot. So yeah. I went with And that's them. crazy. Nigga did it in Wisconsin and here we are in yeah. Alabama. Them niggas don't you even know, recognize that shit. You know like, what's crazy? Never, one of the growing up, I never celebrated it growing up. One of the one of the craziest things is like when you go to Wisconsin, and I think I told y'all this before, they'd be like, What's in Alabama? Is it like dirt roads and redneck? Yeah. <laughs> And then when you be in Alabama, it's like, what's in Wisconsin? White people and corn? But yeah, four, let four, me tell y'all something. When I tell y'all there is there is black people everywhere, uh, for the most part. There's black people in Wisconsin. It's a lot of the motherfuckers, and it's a lot of hood shit up there. Uh, you need a point? Just look at Milwaukee if you mm. want to see it. And then cool, Milwaukee, okay. go to Madison, all that shit like that. But a lot of it is like, you know, I know when I was young, when I was in that, they, they population was getting even bigger and bigger because you got a lot of people from Chicago who used to want to escape big city Chicago and get away from all that shit. And they moved to the places like Milwaukee and Madison yeah. and then mm-hmm. now they got some of the same shit. So it's the same mm-hmm. thing everywhere. Yeah. I have a lot of cousins from Chicago that moved to Milwaukee. Yeah. For, that, for that exact reason. But, I mean, it's all about symbolism. Because I used to watch the 70s show. Wasn't a black person on oh, that for real. Yeah, I thought that's what Wisconsin was. Because if you don't yeah. know anything else, that's all you got to go on. Now, one of the things I will say, it's not like the Deep South. But you got to remember the Deep South is where blacks came from. So, yeah. you know, you're not going to see as many cities like the Deep South where you see 70, 80% black like you looking at New Orleans and Atlanta. You right. know what I'm saying? You might not see that up there, you know what I'm saying? But every metro city with a, a, a nice size population gonna have a lot of black people in. And they are, and most of them, if you talk to them and stuff, oh my grandmama live in Alabama. Oh my 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 great granddad live in Mississippi. Oh, my grandmama Some from kind of Tennessee. Stuff All mm-hmm. of them from, South, from the South. Yeah, yeah, they just moved with the migration. So I don't know how we got to that shit, but that's the, the fuck that's what that. we talking about. Um who knows? <laughs> I did see uh, something that's kind of scary, man. Um, you know, through this COVID stuff, there's been a lot of rent and mortgage furloughs. Well, a lot of them are set to expire. Um, and some of it are already looking bad. A lot of people, like I'm talking about, it was like hundreds of thousands of people will possibly be facing eviction um, or uh, repossession, uh-huh. foreclosure, all that shit, man. Um Cause we still haven't seen like shit since March. A lot of people have been able to to delay that kind of stuff, and now they about to call for that shit. Some of these people still don't have those jobs, but I think it's gonna get a lot scary on the economic front. Yes, Lord. Yeah, I, I saw that shit, and I was reading some shit that said that's actually gonna be the next pandemic: is uh, mortgages housing. and rents yeah. and housing mm-hmm. and cars and and. Shit probably going to get cra- even crazier then because yeah. not only you're de- dealing with a sickness pandemic, you're build- dealing with a financial pandemic as well. Mm, so when you crazy, put them bro. two together, it's going to be crazy for the healthy and the unhealthy, for the rich and for the poor. Not necessarily for the super rich because they're going to be the ones above, but it's mainly going to fuck up the middle class as well as the lower class because of those two things. So we've rough, been man. been fortunate to 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 be in the positions that we're in but we still got to look forward and understand that shit shit probably going to get rough you know what i'm saying going forward so man you're talking about yourself. somebody maybe you know even if you was working through all this and you just you know took those programs and was doing other stuff with your money 3 4 years of uh you know i mean 3 4 months of uh mortgage payments mm-hmm. most people can't just drop that down and that's mm-hmm. the crazy thing. Like some companies are actually making them people who don't, hadn't had a job come up with all of their money all at one time. Now, there's that's some that's crazy. smart enough to know that that's not possible. But then yeah. there's some out there that's saying, we that want all our money. Crazy. Right. And so then, then what happens next is let's say somebody's renting a house and a landlord comes to try and put them out. What happens? Do yeah. you do it? Cause do you it's, fight it, for it? Cause it's, 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 it's tough on, it's tough on all sides. It's definitely tough for the people who, you know, lost the job or lost hours and they gotta gotta pay that. I feel for that. Of course, that that's that shit, that shit is a lot, man. That's tough on somebody. Then if you go to landlords and people who like, you know, maybe this is how I make my living off my properties or things like that, and you say, Man, you can't you can't call for none of this rent. You you might be about to put them out at the same way. So like it's just a real a real weird, weird place of what do we do? Where do we go? 
That's another reason why this stimulus, that, that's a, one of the main reasons why this next stimulus packet and bill is real important. Because within that last one, you couldn't evict anybody for, I want to say it was 120 days. So mm-hmm. that's why it's really highly important that another stimulus bill passes with some more language of that nature included in it. Um, it's because that thing helps is protect that, 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 that bill going to come due one day. It yeah. will, but yeah. shit, we got to put it off as long as we can. But like you said, eventually it's still going to come due. Now, gotta, now, if they give people direct money to pay their rent, that's the, yeah, then that should be some different. type of program. Like, yeah. look, this is a letter from my rent office or mortgage company saying you owe X amount of dollars. Can you help I, me? I could think about it. Like, even when I was in college in a little raggedy apartment behind the dorms, my rent still was $500. So if you gave me that one time twelve hundred dollar payment. See, that's enough for one month, maybe. Yeah. We need something. Let me we ask need you this question. More sustained. Um, we don't. We don't need something that's just a one time. We need something more sustained. For a right. Period that's what I said that to, right. I said that to say that twelve hundred dollars ain't shit. But didn't yeah. they like the big corporations, like say like mortgage lenders and banks and shit? Didn't they get like a bailout? Um, like with the government, they got most of it. That's what I'm saying. Some of them, yeah. Some of them, and yeah, then they, they still like that's greed, bro. Like, yeah, it's definitely greedy. But I, I guess what I was saying when I was like, what if you mid level? What if you somebody who I just got like five properties or six properties? You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm eating off my properties. You right. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And they tell me like you can't collect the rent. I, I'm not, I'm not I again I feel for people on all sides because those people in the middle who, you know, got six, seven rental properties, and you tell them I can't on. collect no rent for all six, seven of these for the last three, four months. What Which position do you are they supposed to pay their rent? Right. Yeah, well, so like that's what that. I'm saying. Not only that, not only that, like where they get food, to, money to eat, and, and I'm, to I'm, pay their own personal bills. You know. So. Yep, and I guess I'm saying all that to say that this this next stimulus or this next situation gonna have to be able to figure out stuff for all of the different layers of of people that's being affected and being hurt. It's scary, man, to see and think about. Because you, um, you don't know who the money. I don't know, man. I don't even know how to respond to it, honestly, fool. Because uh, I could easily sit here and say, don't give it to those top billionaires and millionaires where most of it goes to. Um, they don't need it. But then we also, we've seen a lot of those huge companies like airports and airlines who didn't have enough money to, to last those three months either. So I think we see it. But that's what I'm saying. That end up anyway. Right. If you give it to the people, they have to pay those people who they, you know what I'm saying, who they lend it from. I mean, who they borrow from. So Not necessarily, because yeah. if they give it to me, I'm not going to give it to an airline company. And, and that's true, we, but I'm I, talking I, about somebody laying your head. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, think in what, I think in what we're seeing, too, um, to me personally, I think we're seeing a difference in net worth and actual... Is it liquidity? Is that right? Yeah. Like liquid I don't assets? Know if that's a yeah, liquid assets. Yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay. So great. Hand. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is like a lot of people see these, and I'm not saying corporations need help or nothing like that. But what we're seeing is a lot of these corporations they work off of. Okay, if you're an airline, I got all these different flights going out. I'm making money and paying bills all at one time. So I might be worth this much, but at no given time, if you stop my business. I don't have but so much to go because I need my business to operate to make the money. So if if you're making money off of uh, shit, rental properties, or you these big corporations and a lot of these corporations are folding simply because now that you stop day to day business, they don't have any money. I remember working at the bank uh, and, and, you know, anybody who worked at the bank, I've seen it before. I see where like a company payroll go negative, you know what I'm saying? Because they paid everybody out. But then a couple of days later, it rotate back in. So, like, sometimes they don't just sit there like, I'm a billionaire company. I got a billion dollars in my hand right now. That shit has to keep working in order so for it to, yeah, keep that. You stop the business for any amount of period of time, it falls. Over it. Mm-hmm. No different than us, in a sense. A lot of you know time. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we've seen a we lot of work to make the money. Those two to three months. <laughs> yeah. People been talk, like all them people talking shit, shit like, oh man, you need to have about seven, seven months of check saved up. But y'all are some good people. You can do that. I'm gonna tell you now. I miss one of one or two checks. I'm I, shit gonna get real sad around this motherfucker. <laughs> Give me a, a month of no pay. Ain't no more goddamn vegetables in the refrigerator. You be donating plasma around this bitch. You need you 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 to get it. Uh, yeah, double cheeseburgers, yeah. one for everybody. You better cut it up. Um, Man. but it's some good news. I did see that uh corporations who sad are trying niggas. to be on the right side. 
Um, Target said that they would permanently raise the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. Um, hey. Everywhere, yeah. So, because the federal minimum wage is still seven twenty five, and they just said, "Fuck it," they're ahead of the curb. They basically said, "From here, we're." They did it, but it wasn't necessarily a permanent thing. But now they're coming back and saying that this is going to be a permanent thing where they're making wages fifteen dollars an hour. So, um, that's a step in the right direction. They said uh, a lot of economists said that that's going to put pressure on other corporations and companies because if a big chain like Target did it, it's going to make other people do it. And this is what we've been saying uh, mm-hmm. for a long time. You know, I wonder how much that cost them. So you're not, you're no longer just throw a number out there. You no longer work thirty billion. Now you're worth twenty nine billion. Cool. Yeah. But, I mean, they probably looked yeah. at the numbers because they had been at thirteen for a minute now, at least over mm-hmm. a year. Yeah, it was thirteen across the board. But you got to think how much it costs to train someone. You know about training people. That costs mm-hmm. a lot of money. That's when you lose the money. You just keep, you know, what I'm saying, cycling people in and out. But mm-hmm. at fifteen dollars an hour, you're gonna they get gonna better stay. employees. They're gonna yeah. stay. They're gonna be happier. The customers gonna feel better, and they're gonna. I don't know how, how, how true real. how true it is because I I heard like even at a, a place like where we work, I I don't know how true it is, but I I heard that each employee or each trainee that they bring in is almost ten to thirteen thousand dollars that they have to spend on that person. Right. It's like it's like right. going to college, honestly. It's it's this and and it's a shorter time frame too, because uh, most times in jobs training is four, five, six months. And some is a little extended to eight, nine months. Mm-hmm. Um, so so it's kind of like a, a basically training somebody for college or teaching somebody in college. Yeah. Um, and you see that. And then so, so many times there's so much turnover in those companies um, that you can get why they're a little bit harsher on trainees because that's when they're spending their most money. And not only spending it, you're losing it because you're paying them the regular salary that you pay somebody who already works there, but they're not doing the work, actually. Mm-hmm. They're actually yeah. just learning how to do the work. So. Yeah. Quit you gotta make sure those are good. In. Huh? Quit hating, man. I ain't trying to. I'm trying to, I'm trying to supply as many as I can supply. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I like the job. I like training, man. That's that's when they learn the most to me. Hey, yeah, because once you get set in them ways, it's hard to change that shit. Yeah, it's over at that point. That's why. <laughs> um, that's why if you look at it, like a lot of times people fresh out of training, whatever metrics you have. They do a lot better because mm-hmm. they haven't learned bad behaviors. Uh, yeah, you know, and they, they honestly be smarter. Better. Like it's so many times that a trainee come out and they'll put you on game with some way that you're supposed to do it. Because you, you know, yeah. they more, as you've been out there a while, you start cutting a lot of corners. Mm-hmm. But yeah. the trainee gonna show you exactly how it's supposed to be done. And they're younger, so they're more technological or whatever that word is savvy. They're more savvy in that aspect, so they they <laughs> what the word is uh, what the word is savvy. They're more savvy in technology, <laughs> motherfucker. Technological. <laughs> that, nigga said, that nigga said technology savvy, nigga. <laughs> yeah, just savvy. Finish. Yeah, just finish. Just finish. You're going to who? Tech savvy. They're, they're, more, they're more savvy. Yeah, they're more tech savvy. They're, so they're more savvy in that shit. So I actually find myself learning from the people I'm teaching. So I get uh, did y'all see? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Mike Tyson. Uh, Jamie Foxx basically uh, is going to play Mike Tyson in a biopic. They're officially moving forward with the movie as Jamie Foxx uh, starring Mike Tyson. Um, mm-hmm. Have y'all seen those pictures, man? Because that man put up a whole bunch of pictures of his uh, getting buff and shit. And they got man, shoulders on him right I, now. Man, I need his uh, trainer. And then he played the role. You know what I mean? What's, What's wrong with your trainer? <laughs> What's wrong with your trainer, King yeah, I have a I have a great trainer, but okay. I mean, I can't look like Mike Tyson in a month. <laughs> Can what happened? Can you gotta dedicate like that? And shit. They gotta be like James. But I want to James. I'm gonna change my name to He's out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, gonna be like eight hundred pounds. You ain't gonna even look right. <laughs> um, but he's always played those type of roles. He's played um, Mike Tyson in a number of things. He did it from a comedian standpoint or a comedy standpoint. Yeah, uh, which is actually pretty funny. So I wonder if I could separate the two. Me knowing in the back of my head that he's always treated it as a joke in the past. I think if you can because you've done it with a lot of his movies already, like Ray. Oh, but I'm saying was, him playing. Uh, I'm saying yeah. him playing Mike Tyson because he always joked on Tyson. Oh, when yeah, he, it was okay, always a joke when he did. Right, yeah. Yeah, so, My bad. I put that up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, put that in your pocket, B. So what if I could separate those two? If I'm just going to treat it as a joke or him being serious? But I think I think Jamie's so good to where I'll be able to separate. Yeah, you know definitely will be. I think he's going to play the shit out this role, like mm-hmm. Ray Charles, uh, Willie Beeman. One, he can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to go against me. <laughs> you, want, you want to go against the one? <laughs> um, my new segment that I, I 
Huh? Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'm not going to say if it was anybody that want to see you play somebody, it's Jamie. But go ahead. Right. My new segment on I did it, but I'm sorry. Or I said it, but I'm sorry. Um, Mike Gundy, uh, Oklahoma State head football coach. Come on over here, man. Sit down. <laughs> I don't know if y'all saw this, but during this heightened time, he thought it was a good idea to wear an own shirt, the OAN Network. Uh, basically, it's for those who may not know, uh, Own is a, a, a extremely conservative right wing uh, television network. Um, a lot of people have described it, not me, described it as making Fox Network look like Disney. Um, but it's Dang. super extreme. It, can, it peddles a lot of conspiracy theories, uh, a lot of things that go against some of the very things that we're fighting for right now. Um, and in the middle of this, my man thought it was a good idea to put on his shirt. A star football player tweeted out that he wouldn't accept it, um, and that uh, that that he wanted to see some change with that. Uh, same day, Mike Gundy had him in there um, apologizing for you know wearing that shirt and uh, and and having it on. So I don't know if y'all saw this, but uh, I wanted to add this to I said it, uh, but I'm sorry. But in this case, he did it, and uh, he saw it. Damn it! <laughs> That's just stupid, man. I don't, I don't get how many times they're going to make that same mistake over and over and over. How many times do you feel like a father said? Like, why you didn't know? You didn't learn from Pastor Chris? You didn't learn that that ain't the thing to do? It's be not like a mistake, over? man. It's who you are. If you, if that's who you are, be who the fuck you are. You don't have to no, change for nobody. He, let, he, he, let, I, let people adjust I, to you. You know how he was going to adjust? He was going to get the fuck away from you. So, I mean, like, if that's who you're going to be, stand on who you are. You know what I'm saying? I love it. He can't. Right. If he'd have stood on who he was, he wouldn't have Chubba Hubbard no more or a lot of his other black players. But you see oh, what the boy did? Like, hey, look, you doing this shit, my nigga? I'm done. I ain't playing with you. Who the fuck are you? He came and apologized for it. And like, then, do, how, he's, do you think he don't feel like that again? You think, like, because he said he wasn't going right. to play for him? Like, you think he ain't going to play for him? Or you think he changed his mind about how he feel about that network or whatever? Or his support of it? That does change things, cause even though he apologized, even though, but I don't know, fool. It makes it tough, cause we've had this conversation. It makes it tough that sometimes they don't know, not making any excuses for him. So sometimes they don't know. Do we accept their apology or be this like, fuck your apology? Like, so, <laughs> we don't know, fool. I don't know. Like sometimes you like like what Stock was saying earlier when he was talking about the comrade wording. Like they don't know what we mean by comrade. But some of those statements and things they do, I, maybe they don't know that's stupid as fuck, but. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, I don't bro. Know. You know how much of a fan of a news channel you gotta be to buy the shirt. <laughs> like oh you love that shit. That ain't I just something you watch. Nah, you no, went was, online he, and he said ESPN. Maybe they probably gave him that shirt first of all. <laughs> That's even worse. I just think it's like, I'm not trying to defend him. They probably gave him that shirt and he just going fishing. Anybody know when you go fishing, you just throw on some bullshit but anyway. I mean, but you should know better than to put on that fucking shirt. You got so many fucking throwaway shirts. You could have put on anything, nigga, to go fit. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you full of Oklahoma State gear. Nigga, throw right. some <laughs> right. Shit, nigga. Shit, crazy. Dry uh, fit everywhere, man. Hold probably. And somebody in a football. Uh, would okay. y'all put, um, you going to put Roger Goodell in that category or something? What that? Uh, said, oh yeah, oh yeah, he no longer. Oh yeah, he, yeah. Now he's okay with him and Trump. Now, now of, they're both okay with Kaepernick of being signed to the league. Where of course they, they can go in that that category. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it just when you do shit like that, it's not a thing, especially with Roger Goodell case, man. Uh, everybody knows I love football. That's my that's my favorite sport to watch. That's my love and shit. But it just you can't go for four years. Not letting this man get an opportunity, not being vocal about him not getting an opportunity, standoffish, and then all of a sudden, I would be de definitely interested for uh, no, uh, you him to get a shot. Fuck off. But, but prior to saying, I'm going to I'm I'm leave it to the owners. I'm not going to comment on that. Now you're going right. to comment on it. Yeah. Which one is it? Now, now you got something mm -hmm. to say. We see through that shit, Roger Goodell. Mm -hmm. Young Roger. Old Roger. And Trump, I, 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 don't, I don't even believe Trump because tomorrow he'll be like, he didn't say that shit. <laughs> Kaepernick, who's that? Who's Kaepernick? What's football? I didn't say that. <laughs> Twisted my words. Fake news. Deny that shit to the end of the world. Fake ESPN. Fake, fake news. Well, shout out to all the uh, all the people that uh, registered for the Trump rally. 
Mm. Oh yeah, I saw hey, a lot of a lot of, up. a lot of K-pop can, and uh, TikTokers. Can, yeah, can I tell y'all something? I kind of didn't want them to tell that secret. Yeah, they should have just left it like it was. Because yeah. what, yeah, what if now they try to do something like you got to register with your license number or, or something like that? Like, I just don't want them to. I don't want. I, I like that idea. That was great. I just don't want it to. Now they can find out how to like combat it. How can they stop it though? Right. Something. If you win the, if you win a raffle or however, you get that shit to go. I don't know how they can come yeah. back. Right. If you. They're gonna start charging for it. Yeah, maybe you gotta pay up front or something. Like I don't know what they're gonna do. I'm just saying I don't want them to do it. Whatever they're gonna try to do, I don't want them to do it because I think this is a brilliant ass idea. (laughs) <laughs> they're gonna find some legal loopholes to get through a way of that. Now nah, they're gonna charge. Money. You gotta pay a dollar. Yeah, pay pay uh, your credit card up front or something. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be more than a dollar because if not, I, niggas will spend that dollar to do it again. Spend that dollar. Exactly. Right. I right. You're right. It might be like a, a five hundred dollar hole fee or something. We'll release it once you get in. To reserve, <laughs> you gotta give a donation. Yeah. Or something. Did y'all see the black <laughs> section of that? Uh, rather, it was like what, three, four people. It was a black section, like. That shit was sectioned. Yeah, blacks off. for trunk. Yeah, blacks for trunk. They were just like in one section of the arena. Mm-mm, I ain't see they that. Own, oh, like I, even I that shit it, was segregated, but they don't even see the irony of the shit. It's, it's I, saw the, I saw the uh, <laughs> I saw the fire marshal. I saw the fire marshal say there was like a million people who reserved, but then only six thousand two hundred actually showed up. Yeah, I saw that. And even in that, that seated like twenty thousand. I think. 6, yeah, yeah. They had a black 6, section. <laughs> Why? They probably paid why? the motherfucker to be there anyway. Yeah, come on, come on. That's what the internet. But you don't even sprinkle them in, 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 like you don't even sprinkle them amongst the. Uh-uh. They put all four of them right there. They segregated them. I think he's honestly. I think he probably put the motherfuckers there on purpose to yeah, sh- to easily get to them to make mm-hmm. it like it's a lot. But like you said, the iron in it. And then had them dancing. Right, and they were dancing. Y'all know a whole lot about this shit. I ain't watch none. I ain't watch none of it. All I did was read the numbers. Mm. I no, numbers. I was gonna, I was gonna watch it, but I just said I, I, I turned to it after I, I got out the shower and shit. I, I watched about, I watched about ten minutes. It was crazy. It's been a he minute. What are you talking about? You think? It's been a minute everything. since I watched anything hits. he said. <laughs> that's, that's, that's His greatest every time. Hits. The media, <laughs> Sleepy Joe, man. Uh, it must not have been too crazy. He hadn't said because I haven't seen in the clips. I did oh, see that he said something. He said something outrageous. He the, kung fu, about, uh, uh, the kung fu virus. Yeah, we <laughs> need to stop testing. Care, boy. He said stop testing. That that's the only reason why numbers going up. Oh, yeah, I, I see. that's the greatest hit. That's another one of the greatest hit. And now they turn up. Yeah, he called it the, the kung fu, the kung flu virus. Nothing crazy, man. He said a whole bunch of crazy shit. You just gotta go catch it. They talked about I have it. Have to go watch it. Um, I can't watch nothing he says anymore. Did y'all see? Um, Clemson, the media reacts because Clemson uh, had uh, 23 people to test positive on their football team for the mm. I'm sad about it. I'm sad. And I, I keep had a saying this about... over and over again. I, I, we finna lose football, guys. That's what that's what my question is about to be because I, I read. A, uh, I have a um, lose this shit. I have a graphic from today, and it is my question was: Do you think that sports are going to happen for numerous reasons? So one about what you were saying with Clemson having 23 players, but LSU actually had 30 players. Kansas State had 14. Bama had eight. Texas had 13. That's some of the biggest colleges and some of the biggest conferences. And if we keep getting all of those schools with the virus, there's no way possible. Me as an individual without it wants to play against that. I know money is going to push them as far as they can try to get it. They might feel like, well, see, we've been separated. We we expected the numbers to go up. But Mm -hmm. I think the longer we keep going... (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I, I think I think the longer we keep going, I think the worse we going we gonna see, and eventually they're gonna have to call it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and then uh, also not even just that, just like the NBA, there we, we got to start date, but they're questioning it because of course it's supposed to be in Florida, and Florida's cases are skyrocketing. And that shit's so right, then that's man. making me as a right, that's me making me as an NBA player. Do I want to go to Florida? So then right. now sometimes you get why some of these players are saying, Nah, I don't want to play. I don't want to do this because. These numbers will keep going crazy. They should have picked Montana or Idaho or somewhere they got low numbers. Somewhere, since they not right. going to have no fans in it anyway. This is true. Right. So well, well, this world was the only place that could hold it, for real, for real. Because they got a lot of different uh, result, yeah. Yeah, facilities and shit. Mm. Mm. But, I mean, it's still it's still stupid. I mean, just to finish up a season. And then... Man, it ain't going to be I no fans in it. I inviting 22 teams. You could have played in JUCO. You could have played at all the JUCOs in Montana or some shit. 
All the JUCOs. I'm pretty sure there's an arena somewhere. Yeah, nigga, you could build a hospital. China built a hospital in three days. You could build something. Shit. <laughs> NBA with all that money. Build that question. Y'all see what Jordan had for uh, Space, Jam. Um, Space Jam. Yeah, yeah something. God damn, you put Did something y'all see there. the ring they uh they giving everybody to wear? Oh, yeah, that's some crazy ass oh, yeah. shit. Some mm-hmm. futuristic shit. They could predict the. How the fuck they can do that? The NBA could do that, but they could predict basically three days before you have the virus. How? The NBA got money. But how are you going to predict the virus three days in advance? Well, you need if to send that no, ring out shit. to the rest of us. That's above our pay grade. We don't know. And if, that's the, and if that's the case, then maybe that I get, that's why they're okay with still having it. Yeah. yeah. That's above our pay grade. Know. We'll never know those yeah. answers, who Um, I want to give I a shout out to NASCAR. Um, NASCAR hired Brandon Thompson. Uh, he's the new vice president of diversity and inclusion uh, over at NASCAR. Uh, we seen NASCAR has been very proactive with changing the way that you know things go, uh, and they finally hired uh, a black guy on as the vice president of university. Uh, what I say? In, in what is it? Dummy. What the fuck that shit called? Diversity. Inclusion. Diversity. Diversity. Nigga said university. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> diversity and inclusion. <laughs> You forgot what he said himself. <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, get it to him, man. Let him have that motherfucker. Give him about three of them. Um, <laughs> but shouts out to him, man. He graduated from Clark Atlanta. Um, and he's actually kind of been, you know, doing stuff over at NASCAR. So uh, I, I I was talking to somebody this week and they was like, oh, that's some bullshit. They just doing it because this, that, that, that. I don't give a fuck why they doing it. I'm glad that they doing it. Because what that's going to start doing is open the... Somebody got to be first. You know what I'm saying? And so that's just going to open the doors for more people that look like us to get into that sport. That's going to create more jobs and opportunities um, in that sport for people that look like us. And to be honest, I don't know if a, a lot of people don't know this, but I learned this you know, some years back, like in college. A lot of black people love racing. They love race cars, man. They love... You know, we more into drag style. Um, but mm-hmm. we like that nigga shit. Like go, so nigga like to go fast. Right. right. Niggas love that shit. They look, man, look at that motor on that bad boy. Look at that one when you hit. Nigga love that shit. Ooh, look at how the <laughs> wheels on that. Oh, he finna eat them up. We like to gamble on it. We like to bet on it. We love it. Um, mm-hmm. so it ain't gonna be nothing but a matter of time before, you know, we migrate over to it. So it's NASCAR. just a step in the right direction. Right. NASCAR, not only hire him, actually listen to him. Because we'll right. see that, and, and we can, I can get why some people say you're just doing it for the look. And if you're just doing it for the look, we'll know because that means you're not actually listening to what this guy has to say. So actually listen to him. You know if they do, it's going to be so show. much shit he can bring to the table. Boy, you have no idea. Talladega ain't going to be so white no more. Damn you know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have some, some uh, <laughs> Winnebago's. You're going to have some Winnebago's out there, bitch, with some rims on them. Imagine starting <laughs> to see like. Them NASCARs allow like record label sponsorships or something. You got a QC yep. car out there, bitch. Cash money. You know what I'm saying? Cool. You got a, a OVO car out there, hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like that's gonna bring more inclusion to the to the sport. You can still have your traditional. Gonna be loud. You're gonna have some barbecue, real good barbecue tailgates. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. We got you. so stupid. I'm going three years. <laughs> I, I just it's just, but for me, I don't know if it's something I could get into going to watch a car going in circles. I, I would never go. With, I, I go out the there. I watch the ones when they go to curves, and I I I watch the motorbike ones too. Like I like them all. <laughs> I watch the end. Like like I watch like the last fifty laps or so. But you but you can tell niggas don't know shit about it. The niggas, say, I watch the ones that go in the curve. <laughs> the curve. What's that called? Curves. I don't know. They got more than just a circle. Them, them the indie cars. <laughs> more than just a circle. Good. <laughs> right. Niggas, say, I watch the ones that go in the curve. <laughs> They be hitting them curves hard, boy. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's all I, need, I meant to, I meant to say something, and this actually, I should have said this back when Huda was talking about uh, losing football. Uh, so I apologize to backtrack, but I wanted to highlight Grambling coach, um, Grambling head football coach. Uh, is it Broderick Fobbs? He basically said, if we care about these student athletes as people, workouts need to stop. Too many players are receiving positive tests. Remember, this is someone's child. So I want to throw that back into the context of what you said is, you know, are we going to have football or not? Um, Because I thought that was a – that spoke volumes. And I'm interested to see that if uh, Broderick uh, decided to 
to go ahead and, and stop his workouts for his players since he was, was the first person to say it. It's it almost hard tough. to go back against it and keep mm-hmm. going unless unless the university making him and he still got a job to do. But mm-hmm. exactly, you know, right? Like the, the and that's what I think because even I think even if he pushes back and the university is like, hell no, this is a money maker for us. You're fired. Hey, defensive coordinator, you're the head coach. He's out of here. And you know what them kids are going to do? Unfortunately, them kids being kids, they're going to go work out. Because this, this is their means to some type of future. So they're going to go work out. So it's going to have to come from the heads of the heads of the heads to fully make that decision for it to stop, which I would hope they would do if shit keeps going in the direction it's going in. Um, and I saw some shit that said the, uh, the WHO actually says we need to go back into full shutdown mode because shit is getting worse at a faster rate than what it was before. Yep. Those are facts. So, I mean, because everybody just said, all right, it's over. I'm tired of it. Like, uh, Six Flags in Texas opened back up. And it was pictures of full roller coasters. Like, how you social distance? Like, every seat has some on it, and people yelling and screaming. All kind of fluids going all in people's head and shit. Yeah, elected officials opened up new states, and that's why they we outside. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Started with Mr. Ivy. Um, All them folks, they they, they say, hey, you used to wear a mask. You could take some bitch off now. You know what I'm saying? So... No, we ain't seen we ain't seen that bag of balls for so long. <laughs> I don't know when I'm not going to understand, man. understand my joke because can't get right kept fucking with me yesterday, and I was like, "Niggas, we need a social distance," and he kept saying, "We outside," so that's how they part of this. Now, we're trying to take it back now, motherfucker. We're trying to get back to the I still stay away from y'all niggas. I was I was coherent when a nigga got too close. I bent that head back. Like, nigga, back up. You got How you close. did? <laughs> Dummy. You gotta move that neck. Gotta move that neck backwards. <laughs> That's what everybody's been missing, huh? The, move that, move that, that neck, y'all. Yeah, yeah fall that's gonna save you right now. Yeah, that's that lifesaver. Back it been neck, working, huh, Hooter? Because you ain't got that yeah. COVID shit, huh? At least that's what the doctor. That's what the back. doctor. That's what the doctor lied to me and told me Monday. So I'm gonna go with it. Man, I don't I really know. want to go get that antibody test though. I, I, that's what I should have did, but I ain't like I ain't had that in my mind at that time. But then once I got home, Grace was like, "You should have did this." Not I should have did it. But then today I was thinking that once you have the antibody test, what does that fully mean? That you can't catch it, or what does it fully that mean? you've had it and now you you uh built the you got an immunity almost to it, like you got yeah. the antibodies that help you fight it. So you can, so the people who are catching it again, they don't have the antibodies, even though they've caught it before. They must have numerous antibodies. people catching it again. Yeah, they must not have the antibodies. Something about mm-hmm. their system. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's why they but, say, but, but they say if you got the antibody, you can't get it again because you already had it. You your body know what to do. It shows like chicken pox. Yeah, you can't can't catch chicken pox twice. So yeah, like that. Shit, I didn't even think about it. I'm scared to go get it tested again. No, I did boy. Mm. Yeah, just wait till your next symptom comes. Next, next time you sneeze, who's okay to go? Shit, yeah. I got a little yeah. booger. Yeah, right yeah next time right you now. wake up and cough. But hey, do you notice that everything was symptom? I knew it was time to help. <laughs> felt a little tickle, goddamn. It was a little tickle back. Hey, there. I, I, I was gonna say, never mind. I just wait till after this thing cut off. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you say it. I'm off in the council. Something else gonna get canceled. Yeah. Tragic. Tragic. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't this some nope. shit? I'm going to stay in <laughs> the hotel. A, um, damn. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, your homeboy, going. if if football <laughs> continues, can't get right. Homeboy has agreed to sign the thirty-one million dollar uh, one-year franchise tag. That Dak Prescott has agreed to, to to sign a thirty-one. I think it's thirty-one point four. Um, is that smart? Do you think it's smart for him I, to go ahead and sign that deal or should he keep just be like, nah, give me my money? I don't think so because they was going to give him the money. He just wanted close to like $50 million that last year, which mm-hmm. they're projecting a top-rated quarterback would be at yeah, that right. time. Mm-hmm. But, bro, anytime somebody offering you by 240 by 200 guaranteed, you mm-hmm. take that. It's not like, all guaranteed, though. No, I think about two hundred of it was guaranteed. I think it, it, it was like about two fifty, but two hundred I think was guaranteed. Wasn't the Let's problem? Let's say one eighty. Wasn't the problem coming in that he knows? So if he takes it now, like instantly, it's gonna be like six, seven quarterbacks still making more than him next year. Ain't that what he's trying to get ahead of? Which is probably why no. he's taking it when your franchise yeah. tag. So at the end of next year, then he can kind of command with the pack. 
But but the thing is, what Dak needs to realize, he's not that good. <laughs> hey, I, hey, dummy. I'm with you because I think it's about five, six quarterbacks probably better than that. Yeah. Shit, I say 10. You give 10 That'd other quarterbacks hard. that That'd line and running back? Well, Shit, what have Dak done? I agree, but you need still got to go off of what they've done compared to what he's done. Based on what he's done, he's been top five the last four years. But man, then, that man oh, passed shit, for 200 yards. Nothing. Yeah, that man passed for 200 yards. Yeah, we see, that, we the see, Cowboys win it. We see the number one quarterback on the bench for the last five years. Numbers-wise. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's true, money-wise. Yeah. yeah. But, man, when you get oh, offered man. that in football, anything over $100 million guaranteed, you got to take that. I don't have a uh, – kill me, I don't care. I don't have a problem with it. I don't have a problem with him signing and betting on himself for one year taking the $31 million. Because I know we sit here and say, okay, what if he's – what if he pulls a knee or pull, gets tears an ACL or whatever. If, I know you can't pull a knee, but you maybe you can. <laughs> what if you tear ACL or Achilles, then you're going to come back next year and you're not going to get that money. I don't give a shit. I just signed $31 million for this year. I just signed thirty one million dollars for this year, and I'm okay with that. My whole family can live off of this for some time if we're smart. As well as I'm not just football; I can be more outside of football. Maybe that's how I look at it, and I don't have a problem with betting on myself. If my career is over and I have thirty one million dollars at the age of twenty five, twenty six, I feel like Dak's a smart guy, and he maybe would do the right thing going forward. I don't have a problem with it. But you saw I what happened so, when somebody bet on. Well, I ain't gonna even say when you because that was just an uns, unfortunate case with Earl Thomas. Like, mm-hmm. like he broke his leg. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Fucked him up. They didn't pay him the money which he was asking for prior to the season before he played. They didn't give him the money. Mm-hmm. He broke his fucking that's leg. That, that's different. But that's what he I'm saying. That maybe be looking at that very situation and be like, but you know, the Mark, the Marcus Cousins, another example. He what turned out. Uh, I mean, but that, I think that's different because. They're turning down money, but they're not getting a one-year, $31 million deal. I think that plays a big part into it to me. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. I can like, risk yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you turn down years, but you play for $4 million. No, yeah, because even if he, if he if he sign it, get the one-year, $31 million, and he get hurt, you got the $31 million, and then 31 next million. year, you still, you still going to get a job. It just might not be commanding the kind of check that you thought you was going to get. Right. But I'm not going to say no. Win. I'm not going to say no to... 40, 50, 60 million and play for 4 million. No, that makes no sense to me. Mm. I think that's the I get you. Me. I get it. He's not getting a long money, but worst case scenario, he get 31 million. Right. And then your case, Todd, um, Earl Thomas really didn't have a, he didn't, he couldn't do anything. He still was under contract. So it's not like he had the opportunity to sign that one year franchise tender and get, he could have lived in a bill there. 15, <laughs> 15 to 20 million. You could have lived your own. Can you franchise somebody for about three years, though? Huh? What does he do next summer? The Cowboys be like, no. They can franchise. I want to say it's two or three years, but that number goes up significantly each each year. And he better he fall. Get, he if you do it next year, they're gonna have to give they're gonna have to give him forty million dollars next year if they do it again. Yeah, so if he if he gets <laughs> y'all into the playoffs or even get y'all to the conference championship, they're gonna have to pay him a bag. But I'm gonna tell you something anyway. He he shouldn't like he ain't nowhere near gonna make more money than that boy Mahomes. He need to just go and chalk that no. shit up. He, like he not. don't he even not, try to get that though. kind of money. He not. He but I'm not that. mad. I feel like I feel like he's only going for more because he knows the system. He can act. They can actually uh, They can actually pay him more. They have enough money and enough space to pay him more. They just don't want to. So I don't have a problem with him going after. Mm-hmm. Like no, nigga. If you get forty million, yes, Mahomes should get forty five, fifty million. But if the Cowboys can afford to pay you forty million, and that's what you're going for, get it because the Cowboys okay. have been bums. Bum. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's true. Right. With them, without them, bum. They hey, better win. playoff win. He <laughs> better, better get, win. He better win a playoff game. Mm-hmm. Moving on into the dummy of the week. <laughs> dummy. 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 Dumb, 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 stupid dumb, ass dummy. I didn't even really consult with y'all with this one because uh, I know y'all just going to agree. Um, I made Juneteenth very, very, very famous. <laughs> Trump <laughs> take credit for a holiday celebrating the Emancipation Proclamation. Uh, <laughs> basically, freeing the slaves in the United States of America. And Donald Trump, uh, our reigning dummy of the week MVP, uh, basically said that he made the shit famous. 
That nigga freed the slaves on y'all. He he did that. (laughs) Abraham who? Who, nigga? Nigga, Obama could never. Damn, we had a nigga like the MVP of that money. We, now we, now we hadn't put him down in a while. We could have, but we, we've been choosing not to. But he's this week, a, I, he's, been a, he's, he's been a shoe in. Whoever we really picked was second. <laughs> was second. Right. You just get tired yeah. of giving it to him. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, that's you, right? that's My man said, I did something this too. holiday till I got around, okay? That's My what man he said. said I did some, this is a quote now. He said, I did something good. I made Juneteenth very, very famous, Trump said. It's actually an important event. Uh, it's an important time, but nobody had ever heard of it. Dummy. It's going to be you. Okay? No, you, you, said, you, you never you. heard of it, and nobody at your, that you still got on your staff heard well, about it. I'll say this. They did he say staff be right. He, told him about he might be right, but I don't. he's the dummy because he don't realize it's for the wrong reasons. You don't get that <laughs> it's so popular because you're so racist and that's what people... You're making people right. celebrate and bleeding black because you're fucking up so much. Damn, I'm right. gonna get fired. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you're you, you're it. You made it popular, but for all the wrong reasons, dummy. Go ahead, save me. Stop. Don't get me fired. Go ahead. You can't. Hey, you can't get more more dumb than that. Oh. Man, that's so stupid, bro. That nigga made a holiday famous. Uh, a day that's been been there before him. Been there. <laughs> Years upon years. Well, you man, no, you're just racist, and now people. Oh, but also, you know, we wear masks because we don't like him. Mm. So that's what he said. Yeah, now nah, we don't want to yeah. be safe. Mm-mm. We, we just, tell you to wear I'll, a mask. I'll, I'll fuck Trump. Let me put this mask on. Yeah, nah. exactly. That's why we tell you to wear it because we don't like you so much. You're right. <laughs> but well, then he say something. That, got, <laughs> then he say huh? something. If you stop testing or some shit, like what? If you stop testing, numbers will go down. Stop testing, numbers will go down. If we stop testing, numbers will we test so much. Yep. If you stop testing, he wouldn't know his staff has it. Can we add that to that, too? Hey, add whatever you want. Nigga, whole staff got it. Shit, nigga, you don't want the staff to go down? God damn, boy. That nigga you are the dummy of the week. <laughs> dummy, dummy, dumb, dumb, dumb ass. ass. That nigga dumb the dummy ass. MVP. <laughs> we might be dummy. Uh, we might be dummies that, that we missed or forgot the, the cover. Yes, talk again, about. we're yeah. dummies of the week. We, we ain't talking about music. music. We ain't talking about the picnic <laughs> yesterday for real. We could do hey. it a little bit. Um, music, while they stunk it up, what else y'all got? Currency oh, straight. Currency Currency straight. Can't get right. We'll let you talk Curse about it. While they was one for how many songs? Six, seven? He was one for six, seven. Zero for I, I say two. Was I say two for five. Mm. Nah, you tried to say they was all good, but one. That's That was your first initial response. It was you only one bad play. one. Yeah, it was only one bad one. He the few bad stuff. I didn't realize. Todd, you want to give us your currency take, Todd? What you got? I like that shit. Um, Todd overhyped that currency. Now, I liked it, but. He overhyped it a little bit. He did overhype it, Todd. It was pretty pretty, pretty, pretty average. I was putting it up against the Wale. That shit is incredible. Nah, that ain't how you got it. I mean, I can understand how one could listen to Wale then listen to Currency. Right. "Ah." Shit was terrible, man. So, yeah. Okay. Currency. It wasn't his best currency, but it was like a 7 out of 10. 7 8 out of 10. You told me that nigga was going to change my mood for the day. Because you had just listened to Wale, (laughs) man. I told you that. You didn't even well, know. Well, I ain't changed my mood. Like it ain't it ain't bother me that bad. I was down. I was borderline depressed out listening to that shit. It was that <laughs> bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, let me put something else on. I just... <laughs> shit. It was, it was it was cool. It was straight. I mean, I ain't downloaded, but it was straight. Any of y'all my black ain't listening to that shit no more. I never no, put that Wale. Not. That Wale I never give. I haven't listened to a new Wale for real, for real. Um I the most that Wale was I go back. for so long. I, I go back to him in the uh, Seinfeld. That's that's the one I just go back and play over and over. That, I mean, that's like, a classic. Mystic. That's one of the better albums. That's about it. But, Got um, it on the Taylor? I didn't. Oh, I, want to, I uh, skimmed through it. I skimmed uh, through it. It ain't seem bad. Uh, it, some, mm-hmm. like She got some dope features on there, like Erica Badu, uh, Rick mm-hmm. Ross. Yeah. Uh, oh, Amon Shumpert is a terrible rapper. Oh my god. <laughs> she got him on there. Oh my so, god. So why he you, probably had to beg for that one. 
Mm-hmm. Why you go listen to Tiana Taylor but kill DJ by listening to City Girls? To me, I like Tiana Taylor. Oh. I'm talking to So Taylor. why would you? So why would you kill DJ for listening to City Girls? I know why because, I would, but go ahead. because her subject matter is like different. She ain't talking about like fucking over niggas and scamming them and shit. She's like R&B. I agree. That's I like my R&B. reason why. <laughs> she, ain't teach, she ain't teaching me how to be a female thought. Yeah. Give me a rule book how to take my money. Y'all don't, y'all don't, don't want to listen to women. Y'all don't want to listen to women degrade men in the music. I mean, we sexist. Hey, <laughs> they should listen to us doing it. I thought that was crazy. <laughs> no, I just don't want to listen to a female telling me how to be a female thought. I listen. That's fine. You have your audience. Y'all listen to it, but I listen to a nigga doing the same thing. I'm sorry. And that boy say it was incredible or some shit in the group. Um, Oh, mm-hmm. oh, girl, drop. Uh, no name. Ain't that her name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One yeah, she one she one I listened to it. I saw that, but I ain't listened to it. Super song? short. But she, uh, short she song. actually is, should be on the list of I did it, but I'm sorry. Uh, even though that's reserved. You apologize? Is she apologize? She, yeah, uh, I just said it to you. He said that, um, what did she say? Uh, she basically said that, uh, I'm gonna get it in a second. Wherever Todd put it, what the fuck you basically put it, like? She, um, she sorry she took her mind off the you know ultimate goal, which is you know moving forward with the people by responding to their song. So basically, she is regretting responding to the song in which she put out in response to J. Cole's song. Y'all have any problems with anything J. Cole did? I don't, or how he did it, or not saying I'm anything. still a little confused about what even happened. He didn't I speak up. Like, he's he weird as fuck. They're not speaking. Like I, I don't think that J. Cole or Kendrick. Kendrick was catching a little heat too for not speaking up during this time. Like I, I, I think Dave Chappelle and his special said it kind of. What he said kind of to me goes for a lot of them. Like where this shit is happened? Ja Rule? Rule? <laughs> yeah, like this shit happened. You know happen man. Like it's it's real people who are out here on these streets. Not saying that they're not real who are making these movements happen and they're speaking it up. Like, if you don't think that I feel the same way as some of these people, why the fuck you need me to speak for you to move? Hmm. Like, you should be able to move on your own any goddamn way. Why are you waiting on well, celebrities? Because he got a little money and he got a little, you know, status behind his well, name. Well, question, playing, 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 playing devil's advocate. No, they shouldn't wait for you to speak to move. But if you know that a million people are going to speak when you move, should you speak? Why can't they be a part of the millions and millions that's marching all over this motherfucker? And some of them are. Should, so why know, are you looking for words well, to make change when these niggas are actually in the fire, out on the front line, making change happen? Well, I'll say this. I, me personally, I don't need J. Cole to speak for me for me to move. But I'm saying you know. if he has a, but if he has a million people who follows him, if he will simply say, y'all need to get out here and go protest. Do you fault him for not saying that, knowing that these million people are going to move based on his words? You I seen don't. photo ops. Well, you, you seen pictures of him out there. That's what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. And that's that's the action like, that you why, need to like, goddamn pay attention to. Oh, yeah, I'm a rapper. Like, right. I might not feel like making music right now, but I'm not a speaker. And honestly, like to me, for for Kendrick, and I'm not the biggest Kendrick fan, but I've been making music about this shit for the longest. Years. Like I, I, I've been making music about this. Like it was somebody put up. Uh, was it Good Kid, Mad City? They put up the lyrics that he was talking about. I'm black and all it. Like you know, what I'm saying he's been saying this stuff. So you want me to just come in now because it's convenient to to, to kind of say it just to be in the time. Like no, nah, that man, man got I'm songs like, called Kunta Kunta Kenta. Hey. That man got songs. <laughs> and man, 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 real talk. We do not need to be encouraging Kendrick to make more music. Leave you that hate man. Me. Why? Come you on. let Wale I put it. out some bullshit <laughs> that you like? <laughs> I liked it. That, <laughs> that you thought was solid? He shouldn't have put that out either. You said it was solid. <laughs> Y'all I just say, hate it. ain't bad. I got tripping. Hey, hey, Beyonce, it ain't Beyonce, terrible. Beyonce, Beyonce, was you sad after listening to it? Who did, was you sad? Me personally, I wasn't. But I didn't like nothing but one song. I no, like it didn't two. make me sad. But I thought it was all bad outside of one song. I like two songs. <laughs> Beyonce dropped the um, woke song. I still listen. Y'all listen? Is it good? I listen to it. What you got to say? Get him again. You ain't got to encourage her to make one either. Don't rush to the studio. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Three weeks in a row. 
Oh yeah. They well, they, they not uh, agree with him last week. Now, nigga, don't try to yeah. try to change my man's stats. My man was getting agreed with a lot. Oh, he you won was trying last to sway him the other way around. He won last week. Now they was on your side, hey, last man. Week, but you talking about hey, her man. music now, boy? That's something different. Anything yeah, else? Hey, oh, let me see. Uh, but I didn't see too many people big up, big up in that song. And I, y'all never asked my question. Are y'all any of y'all black fans? If not, whatever. Black is black? coming out with a, a EP. Yeah, he coming out with an EP June twenty. Six, 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 six black, six black. black. Yeah, black. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm I, a huge, I like, I like him a lot. Fan. I think he, yeah, I, I, like I him. think he makes dope music. Yeah, he's yeah So he coming out with some June twenty fourth on his birthday. He coming out with an EP. Oh, that's dope. I'm, I'm gonna be waiting on that. What? That, that's a Wednesday <laughs> or some shit, ain't it? What's today? Thursday. Three what days day you say the word? June June twenty fourth. Oh, that's his birthday. Oh, June yeah. And I, I think that's good, man. It's getting away from those Friday drops. And uh, I guess right now it don't matter when you drop the music, honestly, because right. we all, for the most, most part, still at home chilling. Right. Most people get the number one off the first day anyway. So if it drops on a Wednesday, nigga be look, looking for something new. Because if an album comes out on a Friday, you be looking for something new to listen to by Tuesday, Wednesday, anyway. That's dope. Shouts out to him. I'm, 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 I ain't I'm got nothing on. How long Anything? we in two hours yet, or y'all won't keep going? Nah, we shit. We probably about an hour and thirty, hour and forty. Ooh, little baby, we was at one twenty something before the dummy. No, I yeah, I don't know. It's I ain't like, got. Uh, let me skim through again. I ain't got shit else though. Bro, don't try to just make it. <laughs> I gotta make it two hours. Oh, damn. No, no, I don't I, care I, about. I, know, I don't care about time. I don't. I, I do care about really? missing information though. No, I care about missing information. Oh, okay. So I'm so, so, so sure one more time. Like we, like we, like we missed Dave Chappelle last week. That's what right. I'm saying. <laughs> Need to write shit down. Right, exactly. So no, I ain't got nothing else, Mr. No Topics. Okay. Uh, other than that, we'll be back next week like we never left. Because like we say every week, we never leave. You dig? Bye-bye. Two, two change, make sure you, two change, yeah. you better pay our Chapo fam. Uh, pay, uh, what's his name? Uh, Escobar, man. Escobar, you better pay his family. You know?